Dear Twitch. Dear darling Twitch. Twitch.tv slash give me an itch. This is back in Twitch. Come on, Twitch. All right. <laughs> the Grand Victor. Let's see who uh, who still watches me there. Like, all right, all right. Boom. Let's try this. It looks good. It looks good. It looks like it's perfectly fine. Six thousand two hundred kilobits per second, and doom. Perfect. Idealist. Beautiful. Gorgeous. And I bet you'd even take bell messages if you let it. Here is a scene. Here's my face. Back to another scene. My face again. Back to that scene. Here's the horse that you were riding. And then some quick shave cream. Skyrim soon. Skyrim very soon. I've waited long enough. We're gonna do this M in front of your message if you want to read it out. I will be streaming tonight. Old school. Absolutely old school. That's what we're doing. Is this working? I hope so. Did I uninstall Twitch from this? I knew I was going to need it. That's exactly what you do. Sometimes you just take it down and it's like, there you go. Ah! All right. Let me get the app again. Well, this is Twitch. I can, I can just relax now. This is like not a YouTube thing. Unless, of course, I upload it to YouTube and go like, I'm sorry, but only Twitch loves me anymore. You don't love me. So I'm just gonna do that way. But this is gonna be good. Good. We're gonna be good. I feel good about this. It's gonna be good. Give me a second. I gotta load on this, like, old-ass iPad. I've got this, like, ancient thing. I used to use this for Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go. On that! And I'd put it in and out of my pocket. You know what stopped me? I had one too many Coronas. Yes, Corona beer. I used to drink a lot of that. And, uh... I was a little bit tipsy. Dropped it right on stone while I was barbecuing. If you're gonna feck up with something, let it be while you've got barbecue tongs in your hand. It just seems right, doesn't it? All right, let's see if Twitch is going to let me through. I hope so. Oh yeah. Right, let's go. Got done busted. What did I bust? Uh, don't you love it when you download an app and they're like your stuff is so old you need to go download an old version and then you get like some random draw of like an old version what do you mean I what did I mess up maybe maybe I'm typing on the wrong thing yeah 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 all right so I've got Twitch chat. M should work. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Does it? Zimtalk5 says, this should work now. It's a little bit echoey, a little bit roomy. I don't know why. Couldn't figure that out. But it's there. Are you hearing Skyrim in the background? If you are, then we're, I think, nearly good. Nearly showtime. I got the mic working, everything else is working. Only thing that's not working, really... Aside from all of YouTube, is this little guy. My my Decamove, for some reason, it picks up all the Decamove orientation, but then it affects with the headset. So if I turn the head, it like it gets very nauseating, and I don't like that. So. But yes, M in front of your message. Capital M for Muhammad. If you do want to get that out there. I'm trying to Silfire open... Silfire32 says... Sounded good to me, and yes, I hear music. Brilliant. What I did was, remember we had that noise problem? I did a lot of refining yesterday on, like, trying to get the noise floor down and the gain up. Um, so, should sound good, but let me know if you notice anything, if anything's fecked up. Uh, turn on note, and uh, let's see if I can get to my own, my own place. I'm trying to just put myself up, and then we're going to go. We're going to have a show. Let's do it. Very looking forward to this. 
Yesterday's stream. Like, I had a decent show. All by myself. It was kind of sad. <laughs> it was very sad. Alright. There we go. Skyrim time. That set's ready. Skyrim's ready. Are you ready to rock this? To rumble? Sylphfire32 says, I had to pay $420 today to have heavy junk hauled away. Speaking of sad. Yo. Yeah, that hurts. I, I definitely paid... Very similar to that much to clear out my old property. Uh, there was a lot. There was a lot going on. Here, let's, uh, since you are here, for those of you who are here, you're going to get a preview of uh, what my desk setup looks like at the moment. Put this on. Get on, you bastard. My daughter was messing Serpo with this. 1010 time. says, the man, the it's the, the man, the, the defeated. Myth, the defeated. Don't you call me that, you dirty. You dirty man. You filthy, corrupted soul. You rough necked mother. Okay. <laughs> We're having a good old run on that. Um, I just realized the chat that shows here is not the right chat. I'm going to take it away. It's magical. It's gone now. <laughs> Look at me. I'm like Mr. Cableman. Hello. All right. Serpo one thousand and ten says, "What is that?" This is hat cam. This is a very specialty hat cam camera. You'll uh, you'll you'll see it in a minute. Let me see if I can check if this is working. Da, da, da. That should be working. Come on, baby. Sylphfire32 says, Hat cam or hat cam? Hat cam is, hat cam is quite good. Hat cam is quite good. Um, okay. I think we're ready. Are you ready? Uh, hack, hack, hacker cam? It could be hacker cam. Um, but yeah, this is my rough kind of set up at the moment. Oh, look, it says him. Uh, but you can see I've gone for a little bit different setup now. Uh, is that bubblegum on top of... The... Yeah, I just I glued it with bubblegum. I've got these working... I've got, like, just, just mess everywhere, okay? And then I've got my green screens and stuff. Like, things are things are gonna happen. Here. It's stuff. But we gotta get there first. We gotta do it piece by piece. The, you, you know how much is... Look! There's a wad of blue tack. That whole thing is filled with blue tack. It's like a hunk of blue tack. It's like pure, unadulterated blue tack. Uh, there's the newer camera. There's my like panel light. I like this kind of stuff. So this is, this is the setup. This is it. This is me. Don't look under the desk. There's cables and stuff. You don't want. But yeah, I've got two PC setups. Serpo so one thousand and ten one. says that is a real nice space. Uh, that is, that is one. Oh, but do you want to see? I don't think it'll reach. Let me try. Let me try. Uh, you can see I'm gonna jump back there. Okay. Uh, back here. Oh, hold it. Don't reach. This is what's behind. That's my, uh, that's what's behind the scenes. Alright. You guys are getting, like, the specialty behind the scenes show because you stayed. You believed. You touched yourselves while watching Zim stream. That's terrible. Uh, but this is hat cam. This is my high definition walk the house hat cam. Which sometimes I connect to other things. But anyway, that's that. Sylphfire32 yeah. says, All that beautiful space now ruined with furniture. Don't worry. That's all temporary as well. Um, the plan is... I mean, I don't... Honestly, I don't need, like... Uh, I don't need the tea for God space. I really don't. Serpo1010 says, Oh, all the time I do. <laughs> um, so, like, Belle's working. She seems to be at a decent volume. Skyrim's working. I'm going to show you that now in a second. We'll get to do that. Um, but let's have a good old fun stream, shall we? Let's do it. And uh, so now you got to see my my kind of rough setup for now. This is what it is. I'm going to take a swig and then we're going to get going. Hmm. It's, it's almost like it had a problem connecting. Don't get so red-faced. Oh, right. Me? Woo! 
flush. I can't help it, sir. It's just so, uh, I love the thought. You stroking your barrel of your gun. Wink, wink, nudgy, nudge. Um, let's do this. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sad that the YouTube bit didn't work, but fuck it. Uh, this is going to be going into the abyss. At least I get to have some fun with Skyrim. That's the important part. Yep. Working as a call agent for an ISP was supposed to be temporarily. Here we are 14 years later. Wow. Hunter. Those contact centers can get you. I know. All right, I ran one for a bit. But uh, for another day. Let's go. You know how much I've earned? It's been five months. Five months. It's been five months. It's been five months. Sylphfire32 says, Also, I took a one-hour nap that turned into two, making me miss something sad smiley. I'm going to leave that one in suspense. I don't know what it is, but it's got to be good. It's got to be good. All right. So that was that. Hat cam is still there, right? I think it's still. Hello, hat cam. <laughs> That's funny. I'm not sure what's going on. Let's stare at the Skyrim for a second. I want to make sure things are kind of goofy. All right. Those are good. Don't say anything important. Let's do it. Am I here? I'm here. Look, I'm in the abyss. Okay, Skyrim time. Touch my face. Now, the mouse cursor is anywhere in sight. Make sure to shout. All right, baby. Oh, I was going to go for headphones. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, somebody test chat for me. Make sure I can hear you before I disappear. Away. Into the abyss. Sylphfire32 says, Mick volume seemed to drop slightly in the past minute. Yeah, it, it, it has. I've, sw I've switched to a lav. Is it uh, problematic low? Do I need to boost it? Just give me a shout. If you think it's... Uh, if it, I'll, I'll take from your message that yes, I do. Get it all cabled up, and then we will sort it. But yeah, aside from that, Dunpeel Hunter eighty seven says my test didn't work. Sad smiley. Oh, it didn't? No, that's a shame. Something happened. Sylphfire thirty two says not too bad. Not too bad. Just need to turn my hearing aid off to hear over my son. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go a little bit Silk higher. Fire 32 says, he's behind me playing Gorilla Tag loudly. Oh, right. Okay. Dunpeel Hunter 87 says, too few characters. It also sounds like Bell's a little... Keep talking to me. I'm going to monitor what Bell is and what this mic is. And I'm just going to boost it just a tiny bit. Give it a little bit of gain. Just a little bit. Uh, maybe that's enough to kind of bring it up the level. Just a little bit better. All right, hit me with a message. Anything, come on, chat. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Uh, Dunpeel Hunter 87 says, blah, 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 words that I am typing. That's good. More. Bring it down a little bit more. Serpo 1010 says, fuck, 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 fuck. Perfect, nice. That's exactly what we want. We want it to be good. We want it to be throughput. Okay. Try it one more time. Hit me one more time. Likes to pretend that to be SCP or creepypasta characters. Oh, right. Well, well, well. Okay. So, shall we game? This is... Looks a little bit... Colors look a little muted. Sylphfire32 says, I think that message failed. LOL. Sometimes the messages are working. Sometimes they don't work. Dunpeel Hunter 87 says, let me hit with my right hook edge the fight. Can we play for hours, please? Hours and hours and hours and hours. I would like that. I would like us to just be able to just hang out and just play some play some Skyrim. Hello, kitty cat. 
That's it, you little brush. Back it. Back it. Taking all my aggression out on this dead cat. It's fine. It's all good. I'm not weird. This is one of my friends. Eighty-seven says, "Dog has other plans." Backslash. This is my other friend. Oh, sorry. After I've treated the, the cats poorly, Inigo isn't such a fan anymore. Oh no, looks like I cut him a little bit. That was an accident. Definitely an accident waiting to happen. Um, welcome to Zim's stream. Thank you for participating. Particularly Mysterian, who kept me sane last night when I could swear the chat was with me. But in fact, alas, no one was here. No one. It was just me talking into a void, enjoying various things, including getting attacked by seven dragons at once. I'm not even joking. It was Silt insane. Fire 32 says, I got a new character into a fist fight and Lydia waded in with swords. Well, that's the way to do it. Now, hang on a second here. Silt Fire 32 says, Guards were called. All right, we started a fight. Better finish it. Oh god. He's not going down so easy. Alright, he's down. It's fine. It's an ugly fecker, this guy. Oh man. This is not a face Dunkey you want to be messing Hunter with. Hunter 87 says, I was there in spirit, thinking of you, pride love. Well, thank you for those of you who um, have stuck it out with me. I, I really appreciate that. You know, this is. Uh, this has taken way longer than I'd hoped just to get up a basic streaming setup. But it is two PCs, which means this one runs better. It does other things better. Uh, the Skyrim looks fantastic. I'm really enjoying it. Imagination. Tell me if you're getting, like, a lot of artifacts. You shouldn't be at 6,000 kilobits per second. It should look pretty good. But uh, if you're getting a bunch of artifacts, tell me. says, I thought there was supposed to be a stream yesterday, but I was out moving. There was supposed to be a stream, but it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. Silkfire32 says, Glad I didn't miss much winking smiley. Yeah, you didn't. I went, I walked up and down and uh, struggled a bit and then realized that I wasn't live. And now look, Bell is magically back working. I don't know why. Oh. Let's grab something. Is that all you've got? Mighty bastards. <laughs> Right. Dunpeel Hunter 87 says, Wait, is that dog in the game or in real life? Dog? <laughs> is there... Is there a dog? What dog? Funny. Experimentation in the physicalities of the werewolf. A potion of disease and healing. I love these. Torch is good. Vampire bounty note. Oh, they're coming after me because I'm a vamp. I am a vamp. I got bit really early on in the game, so for those who haven't seen this before, my name is Zim. Please, if you are planning on following, do so over on YouTube. I will probably be streaming there consistently uh, again soon. If I can't get Twitch and YouTube to behave over Restream, then I will just stop streaming to Twitch. The problem with Twitch is that its uh, discoverability is really low. People don't search and find your stuff. They don't get to know you. Don't they don't get Hunter all that kind of stuff. 87 says, I heard a dog whelping. I thought it was IRL, but not sure now. I don't think don't so. Hunter 87 says, new, new, new. I, I will do what I can. I will do what I can. But um, it doesn't... I love that sound. I wish when I actually ran it made that sound. Silk Fire 32 says, I remember you being confused by the vampire bit LOL. I was so confused by the vampire bit. I was like, what's going on? I had no idea. I, I didn't know I'd become a vampire. Just like if you woke up with like a really bad hangover and you're like, oh, what happened to me? And uh, yeah vampire overnight. A couple of bites. I think that maybe it's a spider or um, a really aggressive dentist or something. You never know. These things can happen. Honestly, I think I've had worse dentists than that. Uh -huh. Okay. If the game looks great, 
If the stream looks solid, if the power of my axe is true, then I will kill that bunny rabbit! Need to work on my throat. Serpo1010 says, stream is running well, but Bell hates me. Bell and I both hate you. It's a consistent thing. Things that Karen makes. The, 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 the sky is just like opening up behind me. I don't know what this Look at that elk all proud and posed. Right, let's do this. Now we throw! I, I turned it on so you like really have to end probably. No. There we go. Yeah! <laughs> I should be not as happy to kill Mother Nature, but I'm telling you, I take almost no more pride than killing Bambi's bastard father. That's right, we caught you, you bastard. <clears throat> Dunpeel Hunter 87 says, it looks great for an Oculus quest. Uh. Sylphfire 32 says, lol. Excellent throw. That help almost had nothing to worry about. <laughs> you remind me of Topal the pilot. Drifting to new worlds while in search of I like this like whole hunting thing. Oh, I missed him. Serpo 1010 <laughs> says Bambi was dear not help. Shut up! <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, Is that a deer? Ah. Their death is our blessing. Like after a while, when you when you've actually been trained with the bow, uh, it does feel good. Hey, it's old Nern root. What about these guys? They got any gold on them? Just sitting in the water. Let's go find something. Let's go find something to go have trouble. I don't even care. I will go anywhere. Anywhere. Where do you want me to go on the map? I will walk there. Okay? I will walk there. Go on. Not Markarth. Fuck Markarth. I don't want Markarth. Markarth is terrible. Dunpeel Hunter 87 <sighs> says, Why would an elk have gold down home? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Gotta, gotta pay for its, like... It's Elkin fantasies. What fantasies does an elk have? Serpo1010 says, Marker. If I could have. For a second there, I thought that was a spider. What is this? This is a bit, is a bit of a shake. Oh, it's a beehive! And that's a bumblebee. Silfire32 says, Elks need gold so they can make an Elken ring. <laughs> Elken ring. Oh, you know what? Honeycomb looks so tasty in reality. It's just a bunch of wax. Oh, shit. Oh, the feckin' bees. Shit. Shit, the bees are angry. Never mind. Serpo1010 says, give us a swimming lesson. You want a swimming lesson? Another one. You may not swim and. Well, there are and well, there are enemies nearby. Oh shit! Oh shit! What is that? Oh fucking spider! Jesus, thank God, dark isn't here. I hate that. Not a fan of spiders. She is not a fan of spiders in the dark. Sylph Fire Thirty Two says you can take the bee to your home. I believe and grow honey. You can take the bee to your home? You mean slavery? No, not good. Bee, bee slavery. Oh, there's still enemies. Where are they? That's my guy. That's the end. We done? We done dancing? Serpo I can use and ten says, some sleep. My favorite clip of you is playing Rush of Blood and the Spider Track LMAO. 
Oh my god, the, uh, the spider track is some real stuff, man. That is some, like... <laughs> that spider thing is crazy. It really goes nuts. But there's, there's still a lot in Skyrim that I haven't, like, experienced. And so we're just gonna keep keep doing it. We're gonna keep going. I, I really wish I had my deck move, though. Because it makes such a difference. You can, like, look this way while, while you're going that way. Um, you can kind of do the same thing if you're, if you're really smooth about it. What the fuck? Oh my god, that's 20 minutes gone. I just got owned by a flamey dragon. Oh shit. <laughs> wow, man. What was that? Silt 532 says, LOL, drive by dragoning. <laughs> drive by dragoning, indeed. I got totally owned. What that means? The mom is easy, but the pups, you gotta watch out for the pups. Pups are evil. Stay, stay. Stay, pups. Stay. Gotta torch the pups. Grant us peace. Grant us peace. This guy is a funny one. Ah, good old skip. Run through the land. I was gonna do quests. I was gonna do quests tonight, but um, we might not. We might just. I need to go fucking reap vengeance on that dragon. Is what I need to do. Fucking dragon! I can't believe he took me out. You like properly? Have we gone to that castle? Let's go check that castle. I feel like it gets castle time. Oh, look at that. Hello, Skeever. <laughs> Come on! Third time's a charm. Oh, it just jizz jiggled on me at the last minute. There we go. Fifth time's the charm, or whatever that was. I do have some, like, very happy blades and things. What are we doing? Come on. Serpo1010 says, I wish Oblivion had a good VR port. Uh, Oblivion? Have I played Oblivion? I have not played Oblivion. I played a little bit of Morrowind. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to wish into the past right now, because the past is pretty damn ugly. Serpo I mean, you look back. says, Happy blades. You know. Oh, Dotto. I'm just happy to be able to do any of this. Honestly. Uh, now, I know, like, the thing is, my YouTube audience, because I knew I would be moving, like, I kind of pushed it a little bit towards the U.S. and stuff. But mostly my Twitch audience is, like, is all European. Um, and so... I'm not expecting this to be a very big stream. And also, it's, it kind of feels ad hoc after a lot of failed attempts. But this is like getting back into it, but you got a little bit of a sneak peek earlier of Zim's new setup and cave. Uh, we've been tweaking away as we have just the last few... just the last few days, really. I haven't had much additional time other than that, but... Oh, it feels so good to be back in. Really excited for this now. Oh boy. Okay, hang on. Let's let's Still save. Fire thirty two says I'm not European. Well, my ancestry is, I guess. Well, no, 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 no. I mean, some of you are. I'm just saying that, like on Twitch, I was like. What the hell? Did that not go into it? I'm really confused. What happened, horse face? What happened? Does anyone else? Silt Fire Thirty Two says, "Just messing with you." All right. Well, that's okay. Definitely have a mess with me allowance built up over the years. The amount that I've messed with everybody else. I saw someone there. Where is he? Where'd he go? There he is. This seems like a bad idea. Is he is he good? Maybe he's a good guy. Let's go double double fire. 
I still really like when you're like looking out at stuff here. It's very cool. All right, what's he doing? Hey, buddy. Hey. You're actually friends. Those flames get out of control, and you're gonna wish they had. What? Like this? Oh, he went down cheap. She's like, hang on a second. Took an arrow to the knee. Come on, man. What's going on? I think I somehow lost all my stamina. I can't run anymore. Where is it? Headshot! Ho ho ho. Oh! Silt 532 says, and there goes any chance of being friends with the orcs. <laughs> it's alright. They've got some nice ebony. Ow. Um, they've got some nice ebony wow. stuff. I can go ahead and take that. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Wow. I wanted to do just like a, a nice clean stream of Skyrim. You know, like a, a kind of a really modest layout, just that it would look nice, feel nice, and I'm glad it's generally behaving. That's good. That's all I asked for. That's all I wanted. Still, Fire Thirty Two says it would be nice if you could pull the arrow out of Inigo's eye. LOL. And then, and then he, like, bleeds a little bit and goes, Oh, thank you! I agree. That would be a fun feature. If it was, if it worked a lot like Saints and Sinners, where you've got the, like, the physicality to it, maybe that makes a little popping noise when it comes out. A 25% chance to pop. I always wonder what's going to be in these barrels. Like, anything good, ever? Is it always potatoes? And tomatoes? And feckin' tomatoes! I mean, this tomato has a has a very fine shape to it, but, uh... It is what it is. Right, just take that. Right. fire 32 says, 25% chance to pull the eye itself out. The other thing that we gotta do, okay, is we're going to have to mod and play ball out. Oh my god. Oh, you would, like, pull the eye out, and then he'd actually be permanently, like, blind or whatever. Now, I'm supposed to go up there. The next mission is I go talk to one of the Greybeards about this dragon thing, apparently. He's so cool, man. You're so cool, kitty cat! It's fucking sweet. I love it. Like, some of these characters, they're just really cool. I enjoy them so much. But being back in Skyrim is, like, I don't know. It's, like, it's like a nice little visit home... Like, I, I don't yet have the stamina for, like, going to do new, other new stuff. So I was like, you know what, let's, let's get Skyrim working again. Let's get... Silkfire32 says, is your mod list on your site up to date? Yes, sir. Yes, it is. 150. The 150 list is the one you want. And yes, that's skyrim.zimtalk5.com. It's got all of the mods that I'm currently using. Is that? We need some light. That's healing. What are you doing, man? I thought you were bad. I thought you were one of the uh, other people. Hey! Alright. I still don't know where these purses come from. Do they have a ring? The horn lamp. Love the horn lamp. So fun. There's so much to this silly backing game that's so amazing. These are also another one of the most amazing things. Garlic! That's not what I was talking about, of course. The potions. They are amazing. Like replacement potions, replacement books, these are just things that you have to get. Replacement coins, the coin bags are amazing. 
So that's all like mandatory in my opinion. Go for something else. Nice. All right, open her up. Oh, it's an outside table. They're like, what? We're outdoors? I don't have the knock things about mod. At least not yet. I didn't want to muck with anything. I was like, I want to play. I don't want to feck about with mods right now. I don't want to be messing with it, changing stuff, breaking it, and then spending 17 hours fixing it again. Like, I didn't want any of that shit. Not yet. Not yet. I need to play some before. And still I say this, and I was about to click the button before we went live tonight. I'm like, yeah, just install another mod. It's a sickness. It is a sickness. I am diseased. And there is no cure. Is what I hear. There's no cure. Uh, sadly. Sadly, there is no cure for this. Modding Skyrim just becomes part of your DNA. <sighs> Alright, let's see what's in the guest house. Hello? Bethany, is that you? Are you here somewhere, Bethany? We have a romp in the hay! <laughs> I do feel like a little bit of a pillager when I come into here. Not the Minecraft type, that is not like a proper pillager. Like a proper pillager, you know, it's like a Viking. They're like one of these big bad fellas who's... Yes. I still wish you could two hand. That would be cool. These weapons. These are fun weapons. I like this. I like that. I just, um, in the sun is a, not a good place for me. Look at how silly this helmet looks. Maybe this is, what is that one? Steel horned helmet. That's kind of better than the one he's got, right? The one he's got is kind of annoying. I think that's better. All right, you need, buddy. This is not a daily call. Let's Remember that when the night is late. Uh, All right. How can I help? You can trade with me. Okay, so I'm going to take your helm of destruction, and then I'm going to give you uh, not Volsung. That's my one. Iron Helm of Destruction! No! Where the feck is it? Hey! Steel Horned Helm. There we go. That's a little better. He looks kind of evil now, actually. I like it. It goes well with his look. He's an... I gotta have a totally well-kitted out, good-looking set of dudes. Otherwise, what's the point? Well, all my ladies died. I recruited so many ladies. I had like five girls and like th two guys and a boy vampire who just happened to be like following along. And uh, they all feckin' died. Like, we were battling loads of dragons. I don't remember, six or something? We made it through the fight, but I had to cross the map like quite quickly. And yeah, that didn't work out. Go, horse face, let's go. This horse is named after... Uh... What's that stuff? What's that stuff? Um... Look, this is... I thought that was dragon skeletons for a second. It's not... Is it? No, it's just a tree. Um... Yeah, what's... What's that we're talking about? I don't, I don't remember. Oh, this is working. Chad, are you, are you still there? I hope someone's still there. I get really nervous now about, like, when things are quiet for too long, it's like, uh-oh. We lost them. There's some mammoths. Hi, Hrothgar is where we're headed. But before that, I gotta take care of some woolies. I got a thing against woolies. What if they were called like woolly 
Uh, not just mammoth, but something else. Could be. Who knows? Well, I hope you're working, Bell. I got no response. I'm I'm nervous. All right, hang on, hang on. I gotta check. I gotta check. It's like sit down next to my horse, just enjoy how it how she looks. Nice waggly tail, hey, everybody. Uh huh. Let me check things out on this side. Yep, very good. Wild list is good. Okay, so we've got that. Very good. All right, everything looks in order. I do believe. Uh -huh. So I think we're good. <sighs> But at least it's working, you know? I'm happy about that. Definitely happy about that. Right. Back to the horse. Back to me. I want to check something. Level? Uh, 37. 37. I can't see this, so I'm just going to do this uh, with you. Should I? Should I? Should I? I won't bother. Just flick it over. It's all good. It's horsey time. Nope. Hey, horse. It'll be okay. Yeah, 30, level 37. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, lads. Let's go. I want to take out these, uh... You remind me of Topol. I do want to put some poison or something on it, though. I always prefer doing that, if I can. All right, what do we got? Sleeping tree sap? Nope. Poison? These are all potions. Tundra spider venom. Pilot. Oh no. Drifting to new world. Poison the sword. Of an old one. Right. Well, hang on. Alright, good. We are ready. Ready for a fight. You know, I looked over here and I thought that that was like a giant pile of mammoth dung. I don't know what it is. What is it? A giant. Oh, it's one of these stones. Right? Where did the mammoths go? Sleeping tree camp. I remember coming back here. Yeah, I'm... A little nervous about this interaction, to be honest. This might not go so well. If you want to have your message read out, put M in front of it. That's M for Mama. Put the M in front. Ugh. My parser knows to, to make a magic. All right. Hand-to-hand -hand combat almost never goes well. Hey. <laughs> Let's, uh, go like this thing. He's gone. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bullocks! Can't be good. Can't be good. Can't be good! <laughs> That's what happens when you muck with a mammoth. All right. Try again. 
glow from the sleeping trees. Slightly the same different. Color as <laughs> it is little wonder that they say it fell from the stars. Back there. Go. Okay, big fellow. What's your made of? Got him. These guys are tougher. Shoot him in the eyes. How cool will it be that one point, one day in VR, you'll be able to do this, like... Like, with friends. You'll be, like, around doing this. I'd love it if it was um, uh, permadeath as well. Like your character would be leveling up and you'd be better and better and better and you'd cross somebody else who was even bigger than you and get your character wiped. You'd be like, no, ah, oh, what is the meaning of my life? You know, it'd be amazing on these scales. Although, like, I'm starting to feel, here, I'm gonna sleep here. Uh, I'm starting to feel like the aging process Game-wise, like, I feel like, you know, it's like, that's it's been way too long. I'll see, like, two more Elder Scrolls and then that's it, you know, or, like, the next iteration of Doom, whatever it is. Like, you just kind of feel like, oh, time's running out pretty quick now. I hope they get on with it. Uh-oh. We got airbound trouble. There we go. Oh, and it crashed the desktop. Interesting. Well, I haven't had that happen in a while. If you're still seeing this, you are okay. Good. Something anyway. And I'm seeing a little bit of a bitrate problem for throughput, which shouldn't really be happening. But it seems to be. Let's let that calm down for a bit before we continue. I don't know what it is. But it looks like some kind of network thing. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, I tell you, cabled VR is really good. Um, but I seem to be, like, stuck with only ever achieving, like, an hour for some reason before things go to hell. And I don't know why that is. It's, like, it's really weird. Like, it, go, like it dips and it goes really poor, and then it comes back again. And it's, it's kind of unfortunate. I'm not really sure why that is happening. Now, um... We do have, I do have a couple of other things here. Um, it's, it's good to have, it's good to have at least some Skyrim time under the belt. Uh, the mods are great. Game is fun. I still want to beat it, but it's like, I'm not quite sure what to do next, where to go next. Like, that's, that's really my question. Like, like, what do I do now? Is, I suppose, the question Skyrim-wise. It's like, do I just keep pushing forward? Do I try to... I mean, we're trying to get to the top of High Hrothgar right now. And then, like, we get up there, and we're supposed to talk to your man about this. Like, I can actually progress the story if I'm careful, and I think about it, then we can continue to do that. And I think that would be good. I would like to do that, but... We haven't even found any inns. I need to get to an inn. This was supposed to be the hunt for food, damn it. We're supposed to find some food and some some mushy tushy gushy. Something good. So we'll do that at some point. Um Skyrim is there in the background somewhere. Where's my BRB scene? There. Okay. And hopefully you got some background music. You do have some? Okay, good. I will be back. Oh, that's the wrong wrong back in chat that's only mildly confusing <sighs> i remember running across this before this is why i should be sticking to youtube really but i really like like my twitch people you guys are awesome um that's sad i don't know i have to like pick or something and i don't want to like stream to one platform and then stream to the other and then people are like oh you missed out it's really tough. If restream doesn't work, then, you know, 
what what choice do I have? Is there an, is there an alternative? I don't know. Then I come back down to grab my mug for making something to drink with dinner and see BRB stuff. What happened? Uh, just to crash the desktop. Yeah. So nothing too exciting. I'll I'll just relaunch in a second. But I I saw the um the bit rate for the stream was was kind of diving for some reason. the The problem is we had a um a big tree. Oh, I didn't talk about this at all. I should talk about it. Hey, Yakutaka. Um, so one of the things that happened recently was that, um, and I can go, uh, what was he going to say? Last Saturday, we got hit by basically a, um, like a, a quick hurricane or which might have had some tornadoes set down inside it and i was out in the car and it was absolutely nuts like the car wanted to flip over i've never been in a storm that violent that fast uh eight people died just from trees falling on them uh while i was driving there were trees like falling over that's how much wind force was out there and you can imagine like the car was getting pushed around like like i was a toy car across the intersection just as the power was cutting out um like the lights went out and then i'm just like fuck it i'm getting out of here and i just went and then the thing like rammed me in the back and I, I i flew up the road i was blind for a while i couldn't see anything um which was really quite dangerous in hindsight and then i made it home and i got everyone into the basement and we were in the basement for three hours and then we lost power for a day and a half uh i thought it was going to be longer than that to be fair i really thought it would be longer uh but it worked out and um all our meat went bad we fed some to the dog we thought that it was like you know you know when things are like not okay for people but they're okay for dogs and uh we hadn't opened the fridge or anything but i guess that's an older fridge it's not really good and we fed her some chicken and uh later that night she threw it up all over like right next to the bed it was so gross oh my god it's like if you chewed up a live chicken bones flesh uh blood right and then you just churned it up and you spat it out in a pile it, that's what it sorry but that's what it was like it was pretty nasty that's going to be in my mind for a while uh, and then we still have a giant piece of tree like massive branch uh covering like three parts of our power lines and we, we reported it to the um the local power company uh, and my internet provider and they're like all right we'll hire a contractor to come out and you know cut it down so uh so that's yet to happen how they're gonna do it i, I don't know it's kind of it's kind of trapped um i guess i use can you just imagine like using a chainsaw on like live power lines <laughs> you just like go right through some power lines i think that'd be uh it'd be entertaining to watch i don't think it'd be very entertaining to do it i think to do <laughs> if you did that that would be like not a good night it'd be a pretty traumatic traumatic evening for you um maybe you wouldn't hurt get hurt if you had like big boots on or something then maybe you'd be all right but uh, i was thinking maybe that would be a a bit of a problem but i do want like thank you for being here on twitch it's a, it's it's fun to be here i am surrounded by mountains of my stuff that i'm slowly going through um and i've set up uh, a, a network for the kids i've set up karen's pc i've got a laptop station I now have a two PC streaming setup. So like, you know, when you're a kid, you're like 16 or whatever. And you're like, oh man, would it be great if I had my own PC? Like I have gone way past that now. Uh, and um, I haven't really bought anything on this side. It's all just stuff that we picked up and shipped from the UK. So to be honest, I'm, I'm really like patting myself on the back for, <laughs> for being able to get it all together. Um, and we're going to do more Skyrim here in a second. So but I, I, I kind of want to nibble on something. I don't know. I'm not hungry, but I am hungry. You ever have that? It's like, uh, it's like nervous hunger or something. I don't know. Something like that. So, but yeah. Uh, so Twitch, if you're an affiliate, has the Twitch only um, requirement. But it's not really policed. Uh, it is if you're a partner, right? And that makes sense. Because they're like, we want to protect our views. But if you're getting five viewers... Like, nobody cares. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, 
they're not going to enforce that. It costs them more more people time than it than than they're losing to your you know five viewers or whatever on a different platform. So yeah, it is what it is. Um, yeah. So I think that's probably that's probably that for now. Uh, but I was thinking of doing Fallout Four for a while because. They have an inverse kinematic, you know, like all the arms. Uh, they have that mod that's available. And I really enjoyed it. I don't think it's quite as watchable as Skyrim, though. I think I think it's okay. But, like, it's a lot of text. Whereas Skyrim is more, more action. So, I don't know. I find Skyrim easier to watch than, than like, a Fallout game or something like that. Um... Oh, I forgot. I've got some unboxing to do. I'm going to do it now because Beckett, we've taken a little break. Let's do that. Let's do our quickie micro unboxing. And I'll just switch, I'll switch mics for this part. And we'll be on the better mic just for a little bit. And um, yeah, so this is going to be a uh, quick, like, hat cam piece. And we will do that. Okay. So. To the magic. Oh, the glove. Yep. Glove. Good point. Fair point. Good job. Can't forget. Can't forget the glove of love of love of love. Oh, and I've noticed something. These have like stickers or had stickers and they're meant to be like holding to the carpet. I never had this problem before, but this thing slides. It skids around. And I didn't know that that was going to be like an issue. So... Something to watch out for, if you didn't know otherwise. So over here, we have... Well, it's like a sea of cables. Um, and look, there's your giant... <laughs> there's your giant message. You know, we originally were going to have it on screen, on stream or whatever, and that's why it's... Um, that's why it's green. Let's see here. This is good. Okay. This is going to be our assembly area, or whatever you want to call it. Put those on. Okay. Very good. All right. New stuff. Not nude stuff. New stuff. Right. What do we have here? Very exciting. This is from our uh, friendly friends, uh, Kiwi. All right, let's put this over here. Somewhere. Okay. So that's Kiwi design. They sent this to me and they're like, oh, we're going to send you something. Put it on stream. And I'm like, okay. We'll do it. This is not. This is nothing incredible. I, I know what it is. You can guess what it is. I don't, have a, I don't have a knife, and I don't have any nails. Open. Yep. Bollocks. Ugh. You you have spaghetti meat meatballs and chai tea. Keep, oh my god. <laughs> it's pretty strong. Oh right, there's a flap here. We can just go through the flap. That's much easier. Let's go. This is showing how. How useless I am at open this stuff. All right, cool. Here we go. I have a baby. So this is their. Uh, they sent me this. I don't understand why they sent this to me. I'll explain in a second. This is obviously a um, a cable, right? It's a link cable request. Now, how helpful is that? Mm, not that helpful. I like how it's telling you like 1066 gig. Yes, supported. If your card is not supported, we can't guarantee compatibility. What is the Titan Z GPU? I've never heard of that. That's uh, that's something else. Chase, chase, chase. All right, I'm just gonna say hi again. Hello, this is uh, Hatcam unboxing. So we're doing this. Plug into Quest, plug into PC. Yeah, but the problem is, right? They didn't send me their 5 meter cable. They sent me their 3 meter cable. And I'm like, I have a fiber cable, you know, that I'm running from my machine. There are feckin' mess of cables there. That's mostly thanks to my steering wheel. So I haven't cable managed any of that, so just ignore. But, like, I've got my cable going out here. And now I've got a fair amount of space. 
And like, not to be ungrateful or anything, but I don't know how what use case I'm gonna have for this. Maybe I'll just give it to the wife, and she can you you know use it. Uh, I can see the um, like the, the the kind of braiding in the cable. We'll have to try it out. These little plasti tie things are are nice. I, li I actually like these. These are these are fun. Um, and then the cable itself has a nice thickness to it without being too crazy. Which is also good. And then I never really understand. <laughs> Maybe this is so it doesn't like iodize or something. But when they cover those up, it's a little surprising. And I don't know why this has... Build quality seems okay. Is that for flex? Is that so it can bend? It's weird. I don't know. What's that little, little divot? It's strange. But um, yeah, so this is clearly a quest... USB 3 to Quest cable, right? It's a, it's a USB 3 to USB C Quest cable. Uh, let's check the let's check the distance because that's kind of something that we would want to want to be checking out. All right, hold on. Let's try. It. Let's try. It. Yeah. We'll just Yeehaw! Actually, that's not too bad. How far would that be? I guess that would be okay. That might work actually. Three meters, not too bad. Three meters, uh, it, three meters is nine feet. What am I? Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I am wrong. Baby, baby, baby. That is going to give me some extra space. Actually, I was wrong. That looks like I'm going to have a bit more extra play. Just a bit. I think it might be longer than the official cable. If it is, that's good. And uh, that's what we would want to do. I would, I would be interested in that. What do you think, Dova Keen? We go for that. Um, don't mind my ancient old chair, by the way, because it is, and I kind of love it. It's kind of like this old, like '70s looking chair with uh, stuff on it. Okay, that's that one. Let's come back over here. We got another one coming. Another thing. You said I got my music VCAT booth finished today. Music from me and two others made in virtuoso will be part of the next music VCAT. What is VCAT? Three meters is for seated gameplay mostly. Hope it had a magnetic thingy. It does not, but I have several. I have several. So uh, that's from Kiwi Design. That will probably not end up on my gear list because it just it is what it is, right? Okay. Official cable is 16 feet, which would be... longer right that's five meter oh vr chats music marketplace okay cool well well done on getting that finished okay next thing this is the one i'm really excited for okay this is the thing i'm excited for now i don't know if they sent me one two three how many pieces but this is from some friends. Uh huh. Now I think they didn't. I think they didn't send me. Um, I think they probably didn't send me the thing that I was like most interested in for for Skyrim, which was like a VR archery thing. But this is something else. Let's go ahead and look at this thing. All right. So unboxing. Let's go. Let's see, this is like the middle of the show, just like present that you get sometimes. It's like, hey, I watched enough. Now I get to unlock the unboxing of this. Next time, remind me to bring a knife. Uh huh. I think we have paper. Old truths. So this is from Dead Eye VR. You can check them out. Dead Eye VR. Uh, and I tell you what, this is gonna up one of my games. And maybe the most important of them, because it is the one I play with my dad. Where is this? Uh, anyone know what that is? Any of you know? What does Zim do on a Wednesday? Who's been paying attention? Uh huh. Heckin' hell. I swear I didn't unpack, unpackage my boxes this way. The official cable seems slimmer and more flexible because it's fiber optic. Yes. Um, but I do have other people in the house who, who use this kind of stuff, so that's good. Let's, let's see what this is. 
This is the re grand reveal. I know I'm like terrorizing my desk here, but what is this thing? Ah. Oh my god. Ah. What the heck? Okay, a screw? That's odd. <laughs> what? This is Alex. After being impressed by the realism of the VR cat simulator, cat lateral damage, Alex was hooked on VR. Now she spends most of her time DJing for people in VR chat under the pseudonym DJ Cat Scratch. When she's not in VR, she loves providing high quality customer service. If you have any issues, you can message info at deadivr to get help. That's very topical, given what we were just talking about. Oh, hang on. This is Bernard. Bernard is highly ranked MLGP Major League Gaming for Pups contestant. Uh, despite his lack of thumbs, color blindness, and a VR headset designed for a human, he's a highly sought after MLGP contestant. Also spends his time hunting down product reviews, and he would love it if you left one. Oh, <laughs> the, the funny cards, like, that's funny. All right. Uh, meat shredders for barbecue stuff that look like wolverine claws. Oh, yes, I've seen those. Those look so freaking deadly. They're like massive fucking, like, let's put this on stream. Because we can. Because we can. Uh, I'm just going to go, let's see. Uh, uh, oh, fucking wrong keyboard. One sec. I'm going to, I'll get this up and then we'll, and then we'll do it. Come on. Barbecue. Barbecue meat shredders, right? Barbecue meat shredders, barbecue talons. Oh, oh shit! I typed it. Yeah, <laughs> Amazon.com with two M's. Those are they're definitely not legal in the UK. So five thirty two says I'm like, are those street legal? No. By the way, um, when that comes through, how does it sound? All right, here we go. Uh, don't change. And we'll go here, and we'll say barbecue shredder, shredding, barbecue shredding claws. Okay, this is what we're talking about. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you now here. All right, um, we're gonna go ahead and put this on screen. How do I do that? So five thirty two says it sounds like bell. Sounds like bell. Okay, good. But I'm like, does it is it clean or is it fecked up? Yeah, that's that's really the question I had. All right, let's see. Uh, this is the advantage of having a desktop. Look at these things. It's insane. Absolutely insane. This is it. This is what we're talking about. Fucking bear claws. Like you could totally murder someone with those. So five thirty two says it sounds clean. Look at this. I can terrorized like that the second you see that don't you just see a dude like ripping up one of his neighbors or something <laughs> like this this is dexter you should just scroll up and it's like it's just dexter i love that they've got like barbecued corn it's like yeah man it's crazy look at this bent forks stop struggling Silk it takes ages 32 says exactly it only takes moments to make the perfect meat like holy shit right that's that's definitely, there's something, there's definitely something wrong with that. Absolutely not feckin' properly legal. That's gotta, that's gotta be bad. Um, right, one second. Sorry, the wife is sending me something. Bah, 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 what's she saying, what's she saying? Uh, right, okay. So, um, let's continue. So, so, so. Uh-huh. More unboxing. Um, okay, so this is this is pretty cool. From what I can, did they send me two of these? <laughs> oh, why would they send me two? Did I tell them that I was doing it with my dad that way? Not that way. Yeah. Come on, let it out. There we go. Holy shit! <laughs> Pile of screws. All right, put that to the side. 
Holy shit. Okay, so this is it. This is the thing that they sent. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so cool. The grip is amazing on this. This is right. This is a this is a golf. It's like sticky and grippy all at the same time in like a good way. Like a golf club. It's like a it's like a not a tennis grip, but it's more like a golf and it's got like a flat spot so you know how it's oriented. Jack Ataka says, "Hi Bell." This is kind of neat. All right, let's see it. So, if I shove that in there, the idea, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is you do... Yeah, Bell's back. Bell's back. Bell's back. Uh, so you slot this thing through here, I believe. Do it like, I don't know, like that maybe? And on both sides. You still have access to stuff. Now, this is pretty easy to do. I'm, I'm actually doing this practically one-handed. And you stick that through. This is to, of course, what do you think this helps with? This is meant to help you beat someone to death. You just you just hit them and <laughs> you can kill them with a, uh, a quest controller. Um, no, in all seriousness. This is clearly a giant pen. You just write like this. And uh, that's how that works. No, this is um this is obviously for the for the for the driving range. So you, you, you do your little shimmy, right? And go to putt or swing or whatever. Uh, you can just boom, right? Um, and then you can like little little swings or whatever, but you've got it, you've got more of a feeling of like uh, a, a proper golf club um which is great i don't really have a proper uh golf stance but that is neat that is i'm really looking forward to this because what i do is every wednesday i um i will i will be playing with my father uh and now i can kick his ass he's got like we're gonna have to see because he's he's definitely got a lead on me he's better than i am uh pretty much at everything golf wise so if this ups my game at all, I will be a happy camper and I'll be like, guys, you got to check this out because it's uh, it's a pretty new, it's a cool, it's the only like, I did not have something like this before. And this is like, this is really cool. I love this, uh, this feeling of this, uh, this, this club handle. It's very cool. Uh, Silfire32 says, pro putt or walkabout. Uh, golf Plus. I play in Golf Plus. Because Golf Plus is, uh, is... It's funny. It's like... It, is it telescopic? Good question. I don't think so. I don't imagine it is. I think it's fixed. Uh, it, looks like it's, it looks like it's fixed. But there you go. There's an idea. There's your kind of quick pan of what it looks like. I think it's, uh, it's a nice looking piece of kit. I think it's $70. If I'm not mistaken. So you really you, you really want to be a uh, a golfing person. Now it does come with what the feck is this? This looks like some kind of 3D printed screw. This looks like something you could hurt yourself with. I don't know what this is yet. Jack Attacker says Fackney. Yes. Fackney and Fackney? Fackney. That's what you get if you're a fat kid with acne. You're 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 Fackney. I guess. Look at this thing. <laughs> that's like a that's that's not don't trip and fall on that. <laughs> uh, okay. So this is something else. I, I don't know. This is something something magnetic. Let's see. Let's look at the instructions. I think that I think they literally gave me two of these, but uh, we'll see. Oh wow! It's it's a it's a printed. Okay. This says set up instructions. Let's see if we got it right. Uh, thread through. Oh, no, that's right. Thread through the bottom, up, through, and over. And we did that. Good. Always good. Always good to check. I've seen some three D printed golf adapters as well, uh, but that one looks well made. Yeah, this is like really well made. Yeah, very cool. It feels feels good as well. Maybe for a wall mount, it could be a wall mount. That would be sweet. If that was a wall mount, 
That would be really cool. Alright, let's see. So, what have we got? So, these guys, these guys know who's buying their product. What's first up? Of course, Golf Plus. It's like, I wish they had folded it and rolled it, but that's just me. Uh, so this is saying, okay. Oh, so with the controls. So it says, menu practice, settings, right? Controls. You select the unit, the controller attachment. Huh. So I guess they actually know about this. I, I didn't know that. Uh huh. Very cool. And then this one has a controller setting club preset and this one is walk about mini golf settings putter angle 50 percent huh 50 percent I, I don't know but okay so this is pretty cool um nice i don't even know what this is called uh, i will have to link to this in the i was gonna say in the video but we don't really have that uh, so this is the Geo Leap, I guess. Eagle one by Dead Eye VR. This Dead Eye, Dead Eye VR. They do a whole bunch of different things. I saw their like archery product, and I was like, dude, guys, 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 that looks so cool. So put this in here. What if? I, if I could use this in Skyrim as like, uh, you know, like a fucking melee, you'd be like, come here! And you'd just like be beating the guy and be like, yes! And you'd be able to just like whack him. It'd be very cool. Makes me want to upcycle some old golf clubs to buy at a flea market. Uh, that's probably a good idea. Seems really... Yeah, seems really robust. That's not coming out anyway which is cool and then the question is is this what we think it is is this a wall mount it is a wall mount fucking hell you win that is a wall mount and it's so cool you're just like okay i'm done or maybe like that maybe you'd be like all right and you just sit it like that it's a wall mount that's sweet man i almost want to dedicate a quest just to golfing just so i can be posh with my controller and do that and it works so well that's easy. You don't even have to like get it. It's a it's a it's a heavy neodymium magnet or whatever it is. That's so cool. And then you can just burrow it into a wall. Now, if you're gonna do that, by the way, I think these are hardened screws. I think these are specialty screws. Um, we are gonna get back to Skyrim in a moment here, but I'm I'm just working on this. Uh, you probably want. I don't recognize these screws in terms of the type, but you probably would want uh plugs to go into the wall unless you're unless you're drilling that into wood in which case this would be fine uh that's going to be a little difficult to get in actually because of how it's located you could do it but a little bit dry drywall screw yeah they're um they're, they feel hard sweet okay so i assume that the second one is the same again did they send me a second one did they send me two i mean it sounds like it because if they sent me two then uh i obviously need to send one to my dad if, if uh which i could do but let's open it up uh -huh. all right it's a pity because he's not even in the same country so you shipped it to me so I can ship it to him. I don't know where they're based. Uh-huh. One of those, uh... Those things. Let's see. Same. I probably shouldn't hurt, hurt this one. Anything? Oh. It's a different grip. Oh my god, they sent me two different grip styles? Oh, this is sick. Okay. Oh, what is this? Multi-compound. Oh, that feels... Oh, I don't know which I like better. That one's, like, soft and wide. And this one feels more like a real golf club. Like, this is like a putter type look. Wow, that's so cool. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Um, 
Very nice. I'm gonna have to do something about this, like looking at you guys. Well, I'm like I should look at the wall or something nice. I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure it out at some point. But this is um. There you go. There's the there's the th the tread depth kind of look to it. This is a weird Skyrim stream, right? Um, but you can see this is like hard, right? This is almost like solid rubber. This is like you know if you were pushing on a car tire, that's how this feels. Much, uh, much tighter. Much a much tighter base. Uh, that is interesting. Sylph Fire Thirty Two says, looking at their site and playing VFC like I am, I'm tempted to get the gloves. Uh, the gloves. Let's look at this together then. But that, honestly, between the two, side by side. You know, this one really, this one really feels like a, like a putter. That's what that feels like. That feels like Silk a putter. Fire 32 says, boxing gloves. And this, uh, this is the mama. This is like the big daddy. I, I don't understand. Like, wow, they sent me both. Well, thank you guys. Thank you, Deadeye. Uh, I didn't know that they were going to be this cool. They feel really, really well well constructed, though. Um, I'm going to have to put them to the test. And we're going to have to see how they do. But for, for the moment, that seems sweet. That seems so sweet. Um, it's pretty cool. So they basically 3D printed a piece on with some Velcro. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, that's a nifty way to go for your uh, VR controller. All right. Well, let's get back to Skyrim. This hat hurts my head. So, goodbye, hat cam. <laughs> All right. Also, I was, like, in two minds about, like, I'll probably at some point, like, professionally mount this, like, get a little three-quarter inch and all this stuff. But for now, that's just blue tack. That's, uh, that's my blue tacked hat. It's, like, it's okay. It works well. I like it. I like the effect. Silph Fire 32 works well for, says... Um, and they double as weapons. Static unboxing is just aren't as, aren't as fun. I like this like first person look. There's a guy on uh, on YouTube who's uh, who's uh, music and headphone reviews that I really like. He's called Zed, just Zed, and um, I don't like him just because he's called Zed, but certainly adds to the charm, I would say. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have to figure out which of these two we want to keep, and which one. Maybe we use for a guest. I don't think I'm going to send it to my dad. I think I'm just going to keep it. Because <laughs> um, they're so neat. They're so cool. This is amazing. Maybe I can convince the kids or Karen or something to play golf with me again. Um, because the multiplayer was like broken in that. So anyway. Hello, Twitch. Thank you. That was pretty neat up to that point. Um, let's set that aside. Yeah, I, fair. Fair. I need all the help I can get. Gotta agree. I gotta agree with you there. It's um 100 correct because he's like beating me maybe 20 or 30 at the end of uh, a round of of golf. Like I'm losing badly. You know, it's not close. It's not close. It's not that I'm like terribly sloppy. He played golf in real life. I did not. So that certainly is in his favor. But he also plays, like I play on professional, he plays on like amateur or something. So he's he's getting a lot of more power out of his shots. Um, gotta admit, if you asked me, like just from that, what is this? It's like a candle holder. It's like wiggly waggly arm flaily tube man or something. That's weird. Alright. I am so tempted to try that in Skyrim. Oh, we should. We definitely should. I should try that in Skyrim right now. Let's do it. Let's 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 grab a sword. Let's put a sword at the end of this. And for science, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Okay. If something breaks as a result of this test, remind myself it was worth it to please my minuscule. 
Twitch audience, 100%. Worth it. Sylvfire32 says, Extendo Sword Arms. Yes. Uh, I'm just going to put it on one, not both. Uh, that's me contemplating, like, should I do both? Both would look pretty feckin' sick. Ah, feck it, let's try both. Let's try both. <laughs> uh, let's try both. Hell yes. Okay. Why not? There's no reason, right? There's no reason why you wouldn't want to do this. This is like something you would definitely want to do every single day. Just having fun. Don't you need the buttons? Um, no. Nope. Fire 32 says, be really hard to move in the middle of combat if it's on both LOL. That's right. But this is going to be fun because we're going to try. And um, and we're gonna we're gonna learn the limitations of having golf controllers, uh, golf straps on your controllers, middle of combat. Okay, this is gonna be a fun little experiment. It is time. He has a large play area. Fuck yeah! <laughs> I wish I could keep hat cam on during this because it would look so badass. But it looked pretty good. Um, okay. There was something we were missing. What was I missing? Let me check. Hold on, hold on. Uh, with that, and bring that back over here. Okay, get rid of that. Good. All right, Skyrim time again. Let's do it. They could also be used as ski sticks. Maybe. Maybe. Like upside down, if that doesn't affect the tracking up. I could see it. Ski poles. What did you call it? Ski stick. <laughs> oh. We're real well learned it here. All right. Let's get rid of that little cursor. And let's try this out. I'm excited. All right. I'm going to leave the uh, headphones off for the minute because I don't think we need them. Also, they might otherwise be a casualty. Sylphfire32 says... I do not equal a skier. <laughs> yeah, you wanted to ski with him like... Psh, psh. <laughs> like that, right? Okay. This is fucking bizarre, man. This is the weirdest control scheme I've, I've seen. Okay, these are thick and heavy now. Ugh. Right. Uh, let's... Like that. Okay, reset view. Yeah. Did Skyrim crash? Oh, we never launched Skyrim again. Uh, let me do that. Yeah. Okay. Launching Skyrim. We are going to do that. We're going to bring it back to town again. I am so glad to have Skyrim. It is like a beautiful thing. Okay. He entered the battlefield once again. Ready. Steady. Come on, Betty. Uh. All right, now the question is where were we saved? And how much of a problem are these sticks going to be? I don't know. We're going to find out. Oh shit, there's a dragon. Uh, oh no! Oh no, we saved it right before the crash. That's bad. Jack Attacker says, Extra mod, Sticky Skyrim 2000. Sticky Skyrim? What's Sticky Skyrim? What is that? Sticky? Sticky? We'll have to go, we'll have to go back one. That's what we'll have to do. We'll have to go back one save and not look for the dragon. <laughs> Sylphfire32 says that's how much of a problem there will be. Dragon is offended and attacks immediately. Yeah. The dragon is going to uh, probably get some problems. Saves. That's, that was a quick save. 
This looks good. All right, now go for a uh, big long sword. And over here, I want a sword on this, this hand as well. Jack Attacker says, "Isn't sticky when you play with sticks?" Strike on Jim's horse. Sorry. Oops. All right. So if we can get closer. <laughs> awkward land. All right. This is. All right. No problem. The will of my mind might not work so well. Okay. Hey, Mammoths. Hey, Mammoths. so well. Alright, um, what is archery like? Is giant sticks attached? Anyone who like comes in here right now is gonna be like, what? What's he doing? There you go. No problem. Got specialty golf accessories. Don't you touch me. Hey! No. In your face. Ha ha ha. Be no match. Oh. I forgot about the giant guy with the massive bone collection. Oh well. Uh, okay, one more last run. Let's go for uh, Dawnbreaker. Classic. Absolute classic. Like a shield on the other hand. Oh. And then this will work. Feel it like I'm like Stretch Armstrong. Oh, does that work though? Can I like go up there and like go? It's amazing. You might have to do this in the dungeons and things. But go! Right, Mr. I'm not a small fish anymore. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Maybe maybe that's the end of our golfing. So, oh, we can fucking golf. Oh, did I ruin the game? I think they just <laughs> crashed the game. Well, this is at least at least somewhat fun. Namaste. Well, yes, that kind of worked. Was there a man? That was uh, that was a fun little test. Um, I do want to try the golfing Self capability in Skyrim as a next says, test. LOL giant golfed you. That's a good point. I, I did. I just got golfed. That's uh, why, why did I not think of that? That's hilarious. Mm. Tasty buns. Tasty buns. Right. For some reason, my little batteries, my uh, light batteries, are uh, are are dying very, very fast here. And I don't know if it's like extra drain or if their juice just, like, did they get neutered because they're kind of old and they sat uh, for a while? I don't know. But for some reason, yeah, they're not, they're not happy. They're like, they're like power out here sooner. Something weird. He did have a bigger stick. Yeah, he has a bigger stick, that's for sure. Oh, I forgot to switch off of the fucking room mic, shit. That's better. We're on the lab now. There we go. Um, keep the giant magnet away from my quest. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, so we have... So that is the Dead Eye VR uh, stick, uh, which is fun. 
Let's go golfing with mud crabs, shall we? I think I think I need to take one of them off and then the other one. Now, which one of these looks more Skyrim-y, right? I think this one is less Skyrim-y and this one could be like the hilt of a sword. So I'm going to leave this one for golfing and this one we're going to so take them both off and then swap it over and we'll see what the the other one because because this is like fat and very golfy right and um as much as i think it's 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 got a better swing uh i do think we're gonna have to switch it over this is loads of fun thanks for joining me this evening mr zim at your mercy and uh your disposal and all those things and one of these days we again shall Make sweet, sweet gamer love. Silf532 says, I think using a warhammer would work well to golf with mud crabs. That's a good call. Do I have to find a warhammer? I might have to find a warhammer. Even a cheap one. Like, buy a cheap warhammer uh, would be something that we could do. These are fun nights. I enjoy this. Every time we just get in here, we're just like messing around. Um, I, the thing is, like, I really do enjoy getting people's products and just backing about with them and then telling them if they're terrible. So far, like, if you were going to spend the money on this, it looks it looks and feels the part. I want to know now, is it cumbersome as hell, like, in the golf app? But in Skyrim, I can tell you, don't go akimbo. doesn't work so well. All right. We'll see if this combination does the job. Okay, this is up next. I still feel like something's going to break, but hey, that's part of the game, isn't it? Hey. Back again. Funk so brava. Oh, I feckin' forgot to turn. Sorry. Let's uh, reorient yourself here. Hello? It didn't do jack. Right. Silph Fire 32 says, thought you were going to say, and using them in unintended ways. Uh, what we can do, we have the power to do a lot. We have the power, using them in unintended ways. That is exactly what the fun is, right? Just mucking about. You gotta be careful. I, I have a, a fair amount of space around me, but it's not like not like I can't hurt things. So, uh... The last time I did something like this, we smashed a light bulb. Maybe we, we don't want to do that this time. Just maybe. Alright. Uh, we're gonna load... We're going to do one of the saves. This one was okay. And then we'll find a mud crab. And we are going to learn to golf in Skyrim, my friends. Golfing in Skyrim. Do I have a... Do I have a... Uh, what do I have? I don't have a golf club. We're going to need a golf club. We're going to need to find us... Hey, golf club. Maybe to the latest town or something? Over there? I think we could find one. We're still heading towards the right place we are. Okay. Let's... Oh, this fella. Hello, sir. That's our buddy! That's our buddy! That's our buddy! You were my man! You're back! What? He didn't die! That's my boy! That's my boy! That's amazing! I stabbed him in the chest. I'm a bad dad. Oh no. The game crashed again. Something is happening. <laughs> That is definitely not 
Not Jack good. Attacker says he is so happy. He was so happy. Did you hear him? He was like, he was ecstatic. His father found him in the middle of the woods. I don't know what happened. Like we had dragons attacked us and then, and then that was it. I don't know. Something weird. Very strange. Sylph Fire 32 says, Skirim says no to golf clubs. Uh, I think this, I think the sensitivity was there before. I'm going to try to get like indoors first before we do anything crazy because sometimes that helps. Um, yeah. Let's just see. Back again. This is, none of this is Airlink. This is all, uh, oh yeah. Okay, very good. Again. I'm gonna try to just like teleport to a city or something because that'll probably help. Alright, let's see. Where are we? Map. We want to get to High, High Hrothgar anyway, it's up here. Right? We probably need to go to Dragon's Reach. Uh, let's do it. Okay. Now, normally I don't fast travel, but we're having bugs, so I'm making an exception. Normally there's a rule against this kind of thing. If you just joined us, I have a, a golf club accessory for VR I'm using for unintended purposes. Old friend. Patron of the great clan Battleborn. Jack Attacker the says, sure usually there are golf well. courses near windmills. Golf courses near windmills? Oh. Yeah, so that's what we're doing? Is that it? That's the grand plan? Wonderful. Rain it. Get rid of the rain, please? Thank you. Okay. Now just to find us. A giant, massive doohickey to swing with. And let's save the game before we crash it again. I'll quick save this time. I like to alternate between normal saves and quick saves just to keep the game on its toes. Game looks pretty good. This is a nice place to be. I hear dragons. Oh, feck. Are you kidding me? They're going to attack us in here? Holy shit. I don't think I've ever seen you do this. Alright, so I guess we gotta. Holy cow! What the fuck is that? Oh my god, there's. Holy cow, man. Silk Fire 32 says a dragon. More like three. Shit. Run away! Us. Wait, what the hell was that? Everyone's like screaming. Ow! Don't shoot me, you son of a... Dragon. Fight dragon. You, Fuck you. Not the time for infighting, man. Take your battle. What? Everyone's dead. Oh my god. Holy shit. Fucking hell. This is insane. Oh my god. This is so cool. I've never seen him attack here before. Not this way. 
Oh my god, I want to go inside. Don't kill me! He's, he's definitely going down. You're going down, buddy. So fire 32 says, I don't think they're supposed to. So sweet. I feel like they were destined to take us on. Come on. Come on, you bastards. They're definitely damaged. You can tell. I definitely got toasted there. 100%. Well, like the green flame came and that was it. Just the way the whole like scene is moving while we're fighting is so cool. Silk 532 says two dragons inside each other. Yeah, that was. Oh, he's gone. Oh, God! <laughs> he only turns around like, Who are you, mere human? I have to do this until it's finished. It's so cool. Doing shouts, man. Cheating dragons. Let's at least heal. Jack Attacker says fighting three dragons at a time sounds sufficient. One down. Got him. It's so cool with the fucking green flame and everything. Still 532 Holy shit, he got me from there! Oh. This is like a side quest from our main quest. Our main quest, of course, being... Let me just try using the... Not, not as cool, but... It's like... If you, if you want to use, they have to do that for the power shot or whatever. There you go. He's dead. Shit, there's three more left. Holy fuck! There's like five dragons. Six. Oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> We save it, we do the next one. Look at him. He's up there like, oh god, you got me the Achilles heel. Or the Achilles scale? I don't know, what is the dragon have? Oh. Right. One down anyway. 
that's a pretty cool death animation. Meanwhile, his brothers are flying around going like, I'm gonna kick your ass so hard, man. Look at him, he's covered in blood. Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> This is what Skyrim's about, right? Silk Eye 32 says, How is this skeleton still animated? No! Hang on, I gotta take some pills! Anything red? Nope. Nope. The heart stuff. Points of health. Alright, good. Keep safe. Now, uh, kill some things. Run to somewhere else. Let's so get a different scene. What's going on? Where are they? There he is. Hello. Jack Hacker says, Show them the war stick from the tree. Not happy dragons. He's gone. Come on, boys. Make him, make him, make him toast. Here he comes. Still our result. You will not win this. We got another one. Left. Any left? What have you done? Remember the guys here hate us. <laughs> Never remember that. Someone do Special dude. You gotta run. Oh, no stamina! Help me! Alright. We cleaned out the dragons. But pretty much everyone is dead here. Oh no, except for this kid. And that person. That lady. That soldier over there. They're gonna start to hate me even more here. I need to get some weapons. Malice is teaching me everything. Yes? Yeah, yeah, no. No, no, no. Silver 32 cool. says, Unfortunately, now you're a wanted war criminal in White Iran. It's, yeah, unfortunate. That's okay. I gotta take any of their goods. Alright. Well, I'm okay. I survived. That's what matters. Hello, sir. Let's find ourselves a pretty young lady who's good with maces. Her name. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Oh. If not, Fire let me know. I might have it stored away. Only the essential NPCs are alive now. LOL. Hello. Come here. I need a Warhammer. Welcome to... We've Jack got Hacker small says, weapons. Hmm. First try. Blades, helmets. First try. Pretty much anything to suit your needs. Exactly. <gasps> Ebony Warhammer. Look at that. Gorgeous. That's a golf club that I can put my name on. Purchased. Thank Good you. Good doing business with you. Goodbye. Do we have it? There it is. There it is. I would say, of all the golf clubs in the world, that is a fine one. We've got arms and armor of all kinds. Right. Let's go find us a golfing crab. That's what we need. Oh, run! Quick! My vampire blood is boiling in the sunlight. Not the vampires. Oh no! Quick, run! Doink, doink. Yoink! 
It's like, yeah, I love how you can get, like, out of the city real fast. You're like, yo, I'm out! Like, done. There we are. That's my trusty steed. And we'll just, uh, go as quickly as we can. Don't slice the horse, please. Come on. That's not nice. Unless you work for Tesco, and you're making hamburgers. That's a bit of a UK joke, that is. They had horse meat in their burgers. They're like a substantial proportion of horse meat. Skyrim Sports Club. I'm telling you. We're going to come up with something brand new. And wonderful. On the way to High Hrothgar. Skyrim Sports Club. Still 532 says, not sure how you'll ever get back to the main quest now. It'll happen at some point. I'll pay my money off. I'll, you know, mostly to be sexual favors. Uh, Go Vikings gotta do what a Go Vikings gotta do. I don't want to have to go, to go for horkers. A horker makes a very, very large object. Beautiful. Not a horker. There's no horkers. Wait! Wait! Bad kitty! Down! No! No! Come here! Bad! Bad kitty! All right, so we, so we, uh, this be our first. I think this is our first. All right, everyone ready? I need to hold my hand together here. Let's thread this club. Do that one. Ready? Your legs. Fifteen to search. Four. Uh, that didn't quite work. Oh shit! Look at this guy, Mr. Persistence. Hey. Stop right there. Uh. Pay with your blood. Vampire. Look at my boys. Ah, we have a new candidate. Four. 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 There we go. I'm gonna catch him. Ah, uh, yes. Old McClubbin. <laughs> My nickname. All right, for anyone who's watching the podcast tomorrow, I am now McClubbin. Guys will be like, what are you talking about? Had to be there. Had to Jack be there. Jack Attacker says, that's in a hole in one. Prima! Well, we're going we're gonna to do uh, more. Definitely. McClubbin is my new favorite thing. This is great. Skyrim Golf Club. Silfire32 says, Dang. That guard was eager to arrest you. He was very happy. Oh, I see golf balls. Let's get to a nicer place to golf from. Over here. Come on. Come, little kids. Let's go. Let's go. That's right. Right for Papa. Right for Papa. Hello. No. Bad dog. All right. One, two, three. She was the victim. And four. Yeah. 
<laughs> Someone's tuning into this and being like, what the fuck is he doing? We are Skyrim. Sporting! Ladies and gentlemen. Mwah. Me and McLovin. Watch the face. Don't let us grow. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, wait. Let's use the pointy side. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this doesn't get old. This is fun. It doesn't get old. Ah, yes. Are we almost there? My Hrothgar guard is just around the corner, right? Kind of. You can actually, like, whack the horse with the, with the back part. Like that. Giddy up! You can just do that the whole way. Ah, oh, yes. Nothing like... Oh, hello. Silph532 says, Hi Rothgar is the journey of 1,000 steps. 200 gold if you want to use our road. How about you let me through and I don't kill you? You know, now that I think of it, that sounds fair. Just shove off before the others notice. Huh. Silph532 says, And you're on the wrong path. Should have gone up for it. Let us send these souls to the dream sleep. Get Hello. Let us end these cowardly cutthroats. That appears to be the last of them. Time for my morning workout. I remember that. There we go. Another one fast and death. Oh, there's health potion. Another one goes, another one goes, and another one fast and death. Zero three times dead. The shortcut to my road guard is before the bridge. Before the bridge? Yeah, but... Oh, I remember it. Yeah, I remember it. Oh, shit! Hey! I think it's me. Steadly one. Does it keep suddenly storming whenever you're in combat? I don't know, it's a good question. You're shooting me. Oh! I just got owned by another big mace. I got golfed. I think. Sorry, I turned around completely there. Whoops! And also, I've... I've kind of drifted. <laughs> this happens with the carpet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Lady, lady. You're a disgrace. Wait. Whoa, she's good. She's very good. All right. Is that enough of our golfing? I think we've probably had enough of the golfing. What do you think? Maybe enough of the golfing? Run of the bushes. She can't find us. Over by the cabinet. She's hunting. Now we found a cabbage. I am out of stamina. Bollocks. <laughs> Have to fight. Yeah, you're right. It rains every time there's combat. Oh, I can just poke her. <laughs> 
Honestly, it's kind of fun swinging them. Although I'm pretty sure that I've like nearly almost wrecked my things around me. So it's smart for me to not do that. Maybe save it before I start my life. That's uh, a good way to hold that. Well, we take this monstrosity off. It'd be bad if I took a strap off and forgot about it and then threw it. It's just a game. Just a game. Get immersed. Controller, put it down. Put down the weapon. Screws him. Put it down. I'm so glad to be back. much cool stuff. Like, you get just so much incredibly cool stuff in Skyrim. You don't get it in anything else. Like, such good weaponry. There's so many mods. You can run around with naked people if you want. Like, what more is there for you to possibly desire? You know? I don't know. Alright, let's get up to High Hrothgar and actually get a mission done. Because that's what we want to do. Now for those who might want to be speaking, then please put M in front of your message if you want to say something. Otherwise, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. My name is Zim. I've been a VR streamer for almost eight years now. More than anyone else. We're at the top of the charts, top of the house, living it all, eating the mouse. I didn't have money for a burger, so please pump your bits into my squeezy tank of cheese. A squeezy tank of cheese? Oh God. Also, I hate bits. I think bits are terrible system. Uh, they're a really good way for you to, like, just give your money to Twitch and not really do much with the streamer, you know. They're not great. It was just Amazon wanting to dip in everyone's pockets, and they did! They did. They, they did successfully, and they're like, yep, you got your money. Of course, they do that a lot. Oh my god, they all hate me? I need to, um, I need to, like, oh no. I think I heard... I think I heard some, uh, it's this way, isn't it? Why do I have a controller in my hand? Like, there's some kind of feckin' weird, look. Just this one. This is giving me a bit of a, this motion is, uh, I'm not sure this is allowed. This, this could definitely get you banned. <laughs> it's like, I, I didn't do it, it's a bug, but... It's quite, it's quite a, uh, quite a message it's sending. Skyrim players. I mean, it's even got the cadence right, doesn't it? It's like, it's, it's, it's doing the shape of the fist. I can like grip things. That's good. That's good. It's like an educational stream, really. This one. I'm gonna move on from this. Silph 532 says... Odd hand motion. Oh, hello, time. gents. Lost, what? No. no. <laughs> what are you doing to my horse? No, you bastards. Stop that. No, oh, my fucking horse, you son of a bitch. Come back here. Fucking fool. Two in the balls. I killed my horse. Jackass. Fucking Jack. Jesus. Why would he do that? Fucking horse. Damn it. Give me your money. Bastards. Cat 
cabbage. That was worth a dead horse. Cabbage. Lockpicks and, and sexy leather boots. Where are you, Becker? Oh, that guy's a bandit. This guy thinks I'm a bandit too. Beck. God damn it, my horse, man. My goddamn horse. Can I resurrect my horse? Do I have resurrection magic? No, that's not the same thing. Not quite, anyway. God damn it. I can take the arrows out of my horse to use later. I just ate my horse. You remind me of Topal the Pirate. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Uh, I meant to do it. Then suffer the Emperor's wrath. Torch them. This guy's not very smart. He's surrounded by mages, man. What were you thinking was gonna happen? Give me your money. I know that's not smart. Look, while we're gonna be bad guys, let's be bad guys. She is the hotness. Alright, now, where the feck am I? And how did I get here? Alright, I'm there. There's White Paw. So we just gotta go left. So keep going down the road. Take a left at Helgen. Another left. No oh, bollocks. Come on, pups. Come on, what? Your magical friend is jealous Stay. of our friendship. I can tell. Stay. Your magical friend. Is jealous of our friendship? Is that what he said? That's hilarious. Alright, which direction? I'm heading down. It's this way we want. Okay. Really, that controller is bugging me. Maybe if I go in and out of this? Nope, still there. Oh well. Could be worse. Can you see the controller bobbing up and down? I hope you can. If you can't, that's a problem. Anyway, are we still streaming? We are. Good. Oh, my name is Zim. Yeah, very good. Uh, get Shadow Mare. It's a sturdier mount. Alright. These are all options. These are all possibilities. These are all parts of our near future. Let's find our way. Nothing like a little bit of Skyrim. A little bit of golfing action. For a man on a mission. Those are the 3D trees. I love that mod. That's very good. Got all kinds of things going on. The mountain flowers as well. Uh, for those who don't know this one, like um, there's a whole plethora of different mountain flowers that you get with that uh, with that one. And you can pick them and everything. It's very cool. Love it. There's such great content available for Skyrim. If you are, if you haven't done it, like it's really not that complicated. It does scale, but I feel like it's almost like a linear scale. Like it goes from like, okay, a little difficult at the start when you're like trying to install certain things, but then it just goes like up and up and up. And like the more you want to do, the more complicated it gets. And sometimes the problems get tougher, but yeah, it's all good. I don't know if I'm uh, hurt or whatever. I might need some food. Need some tomatoes. So let's just try out. Oh, these guys usually have a little bit on them. Just take the money off and go. Oh, a bit of poison. I like having poison. As a, as a person who likes to shoot a lot of arrows, like, definitely worth doing. Just 
fun to have this thing. We might have to try something new. What would that be? There's a new tree mod, apparently, that people, uh... Well, the God Loto has suggested that I try. So... I'm considering it! I really, like, love my, uh... What is this? Oh, that's the frost... Frost part one. That's okay, we can do some frost. I don't do a lot of magic. I tend to like just the, way, the kind of basic weapons and stuff. Now, Helgen got destroyed, remember? By all the big dragons and stuff, so... You gotta be careful about that. It is, it's kind of fucked up, but I don't have a horse anymore, so we have to walk everywhere. It'll take a while. But we're going to make it all the way up to High Hrothgar. We're going to talk to your man, and he's going to be like, Hey! This is what you need to do. This is how you beat the game. And he'll tell us three code words, we, we do the code words. Game done. 100%. Never have to press Skyrim again. I feel bad for frozen bunnies. I didn't feel any pain. I just went to sleep. Just went to sleep. Now, I, I do wonder if my, like, vampire buddy is going to be following me. Is he coming as well? Or did he, like, stay behind? He like, stay behind. Huh. We had him there for a while. We got to meet one of our old friends. That's really funny to me. Well, at least we got something. All right, what's the map saying? Follow the path. All right, not far. Thanks for the tip, by the way. It's helpful not to have to walk the long way around. That's uh, certainly of value. You kind of find your way through. Is uh, Bell stopped functioning? I think Bell stopped working. Oh, she does have like an error thing. All right, well, I'll leave it for now. But the tranquility isn't bad. Let's just hang out. Okay. Everstead. I think Everstead is the one at the base just before you go up the mountain. Well, it's actually quite a, a far away. The thing is, we don't know what we're going to come across as we go there. And sometimes we, we, like, come across things that we've never seen before. I think my eyes have steamed up. And that makes it, like, really interesting for me. Because, like, if you, if you take the time to walk it, then you can see all the things that people have laid on the, like, side of the road. Like, intentionally, that maybe you're going to come across it and then be able to play. Like, even this open area here. Right? Look where we are. Where are we? It's over there. See, there's, like, this opening here? Look. Falkreath Stormcloak Camp. So we've done that before. And then the New Grad or whatever that, that is. And South Fringe Sanctum. We've done all those things. But we're going to keep mosh moshing this way. And then, it, like, as you come up into the mountains, sometimes it gets, like, really... Magic Stamina? Yeah, so we need stamina too. It's funny because stamina drains and stuff, and then you just don't have. Oh boy. Let's get uh... Oh, getting pretty white here. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. We'll fix Stormcloak wants to see them. Oh, Windhelm. I love when it gets like this. It's pretty cool. Also, I would say, I've got my wheel set up, so that's working. And we'll have the option to be able to actually do some of that. 
I have a bunch of stuff lined up that's like brand new things, but I wanted to get the stream running well first. And Skyrim, of course, is like my fallback, my, my home base. It's important for me to get it working right. We've got almost everything working so far. So Skyrim itself is working. Mods loaded are working. I haven't updated them. Some of the mods have updates, and I like, like, let's live in the past for a little while. It's fine. Um, the other thing that I would say is we have uh, the deck and move is not currently working. And that's a little bit sad. Who's this guy? Hello. Uh, Take a look. Ask him what he's got for sale. Absolutely junk. Dude, you got nothing. Snow bear pelt, pheasant breast. Can I sell him that? No. I sold him a salt. All right then. For a buck. You got any salt? Sure. Salt for a dollar. Un peso, por favor. Back in this. Well, I was fake streaming yesterday. Uh, we found a. I think you've seen this. Hey, Raymar's train. train ship. Yeah. Uh, so. What was it? What was I saying? Oh, I think I might be the house. The world is right again. We have a horse. Oh no. Puppies. Don't, don't get the back in. If the new horse died right then, I would be very sad. <laughs> but we just found a horse. We just, just found a horse. Oh, please don't. Oh, please don't. Oh, you bastards. Ow. Run. Hold on. Everyone's hating me. What the heck? What? Uh, let's. Against this, I must look like a like standout black guy. Black guy, huh? It's all white. All right, let's see. One second. Pretty good. All right. Just trying to make sure you're all still happy and take that. Love yourself. Good. I I am. Totally comfortable. Just enjoying themselves. I'm enjoying myself. This is like a vacation. 
I haven't been back in Tamriel for so long. Five months. Five months. Without my rig, without any kind of stuff. Alright, so we're gonna go around the loop. Where's the shack? What does the shack look like telling? Let's see what's in there. Read these. Coming to this area was a brilliant decision of the local flora. Stick. Oh, hello. We don't need to pray to statues of Talos. Not when we have the real thing. Who owns the shack? Some plant mage. Probably wasn't a very good one either, using a stove for an alchemy table. Well, not much here. Herbs and stuff. Like, it would be very gusty to be in this shack. Oh my. Oh. If only this was multiplayer, how awesome would that be? Like, if you could dedicate time and energy just one project, I think if you could make Skyrim VR multiplayer, wow. Like, and, and do a proper job of it. Like, other player animations wouldn't look janky or whatever. I mean, the game has already got a fair amount of jank to it. It's old, right? But it would be so special if this world was like, you know, an instance with, as I said, like, like permadeath. Like, you were crossing DayZ with Skyrim. I would love that. I think that would be an amazing game. And you would cross other people, and they would have spells and magic and stuff, and you could battle them, and if you died, maybe you'd come back, I don't know, in, in a random place somewhere on the map. You know, you wouldn't come back in the same place. So a little bit of daisy esque stuff in there again. I love how they do all of this. Very special. There you go, Everstead. You know what? Let's, let's have some food. Let's have some food. Now's the time. Hey, well, watch it. I don't have to take that from you. This is not good. good. I don't think so. That's what he's looking for. Hey, what are you doing? Are you? Those some bulls are actually fighting. Oh, I'm getting out of here. That's your best. Uh, all right. Get lost. What? Why? You will not win this. If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. Taunt. If you're headed up to the monastery, watch your steps. What are they doing? It's a long are they way fighting? down. Oh, that's the protection. Victory is your oh. Shall I take you, beast? Yep, that's why I've got protectors. Hello, don't worry. They'll be Warrior safe. Now. Us in our fight. Right. I had ale on him. Very good. That one was a bit of ale. Time to dine. Hello, sir. Need something? Can you make me a plug kit? Trust like that is not freely given. Until next time. Orcs really have beautiful teeth. 
I just want food. Can you give me food? Combat, huh? Someone do something. I don't know why I'm so scared. Hey, what are you doing? I love these like giant fires now. I feel like that might like burn the place down. Just maybe. Maybe it's a good idea. Let's go. Hey, a horse. Whoops. Alright. Dodge and weave. Can't hit you. Oh, they're coming. They really don't like it. All this, just trying to get up there. It'd be funny if they just like landed a headshot and it's like game over. Where does he get up to the top? Another pilgrimage? A pilgrimage? Pilgrim? Ah, that's a bear. Oh. I love that the bear like could just take a bite. Bears are so funny, they're like massive creature that looks so cuddly. They're kind, of, they're kind of incredible. Because they look like a giant rat, you'd be scared of them, right? But they are... Okay, oh, to be fair, a fully-fledged, like, grizzly bear, actually any bear, even a small black bear, they're all terrifying in real life. But... I'm saying, if you just looked at it like on paper, you're like, oh, it's covered in fur, it looks like a teddy bear. Of course, teddy bears were made after real bears, but you know. What a, what a, what a great... Oh. You. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Don't beat the horse up! I like how he tripped up there, that was fun. I think. Well, so now the horse is like decided to back off. Let's run foot. For at least a little bit of this, there is. Is he is like the the bears are so strong in this, they're like ridiculously strong. It's not even like, it's not even a fair fight. So I would be better off staying on the horse, running past all these things, and just letting the chips fall where they may. Because if I if I don't do that, we're never making it to high rock. Yep. Well, Twitch, thank you for uh, tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. If you want to say anything to me, I have a system where you can uh, have that read out. Just put M in front of your message. M for Moosh Moosh. And uh, it sounds like someone is here in the room with me. Like a stalker. Creepo. Oh. Just a lurker. In person lurker, which is what? Where are you in the room? Silph Fire 32 says, Boop. Oh. Well, behind the green screen, then. <laughs> uh, the bears are trying to eat my horse. Oh, the horse is tasty. So I'm running away. So I want to get to the top of the mountain. I can eat the horse. If they like it. I'm sure, I'm gonna love it. We are part of the way there. That was a good time to save. You know what's funny here? I found the guy who does who did the Twitch TTS is someone who works for Facebook 
on Oculus VR <laughs> and uh, creates apps as like a pastime, has taken the main app down and just over a month ago updated a new branch for a new project that like one person has viewed. And I'm like, sweet, I just found this. So I messaged the guy, I'm like, hey, you want someone to test your app? <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, so that's fine. I'm telling chat because I'm sure they care. Maybe not. It's really fun when you find that connection. You know? It's like someone who's into VR, who's working for Facebook, who's doing Twitch, like Twitch support type stuff at the same time. I love this run. I love the High Hrothgar run because you get to see awesome vistas, great mountains, windswept peaks. A couple of bad dudes along the way, a bunch of stairs, and then a bunch of hairy old dudes who look like child molesters with secret powers. It's great. It's like beat gaming. Alright. It's so funny, because this game is like relaxing. You know, it's all like combat and killing things. Magic powers. Great. Excellent. You're just having Silk tea then? Silk 32 says, need to play Misty Mountain in the background while ascending High Roth Gun. Misty Mountain. Oh, Misty Mountain. Misty Mountain. Uh, Kara, what did you say? Milk and a snack. And a little bit of crack. Don't worry, Karen's just picked up a new habit. Okay. Here we go. We're almost. Park our horse out front. Uh, here's a bunch of gold and things. I love that. This is like, don't steal from here, but. Silfire32 says, Misty Mountain being the song the dwarfs sing while looking for the gold smog stole. Oh, okay, smog. Yeah, 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 Misty Mountain. I remember now. I was like, that sounds familiar, but I don't remember what it is. Okay. Tolkien. Gotcha. Stick that aside. Right. Where are these old dudes? Let's look at the quest. It'd be funny if I misread it and they're like, see him in. I hope not. Talk to Erengir. With Esbarn's help, I've deciphered Alduin's wall and Skyhaven Temple. It revealed that Alduin was defeated in ancient times by a shout of some kind. Maybe the Greybeards can teach me this shout, or at least tell me how I can learn it. Okay. Alduin is usually out, outside, I think. Out the back. That's where I remember him. He taught us to run the sprint shout. Alduin? Alduin, where the feck are you? Alduin. Where are you? Where are we supposed to go up to the top here? Like, I don't think we can cross this yet. Maybe. True. Maybe if I turn ethereal, will that do it? We'll try. Skills, items. Skills, isn't it? No, not skills. How do I access that? I don't remember. If I get to my uh, ma magic, magic. magic that's it. Your voice is not a shout, but a whisper, revealing all life forces and any of them. And all uh, changing your form to one that cannot be harmed. Z. Wait. Oh. Not doing it. I'm invisible. 
like helpful a little bit. What else have we got? I haven't used these shouts like at all. Disarm. I should because it's pretty cool. How's your arms to impede the speed of wind? Sylph532 says, you will die in that until you learn clear skies. Okay. Unrelenting force. Forward sprint. Slow time. Freezes an opponent solid. Elemental fury. Dismay. Disarm is pretty cool. All right. Adam the Duke underscore says, it smells like maple syrup here. Mr. Duke! Jeez, how are you still up? Oh, I forget you worked that late job and all that. So. Sylph 532 says that path is part of the main quest, but later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blocked until then. Well, let's find this Fecker. Where is he? Erringir? Erringir. I bet you he's not even here anymore. I bet you he's fecked off down to like the main world or something. Where the hell is he? Hang on, wait, 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 wait. let's check the map. Why didn't I check the map before? I'm a Muppet. Adam the Duke underscore says, also, I love Poutine. You love Poutine? I like Poutine. Great. Um, right. Let's go to the map. Where is this guy? Fuck. Talk to Aaron. World map. No, he's supposed to be here. Alright, we'll find him. Where are you, old man? Old, hairy, old, saggy ball man. Come here. Where are you? That's the thing they don't tell you, right? They always talk about women and their breasts sagging when they're older, which is totally true. I've seen a 90-year-old woman topless in person. Don't ask me the circumstances. But, uh, dude's balls hang lower and lower until they can't go no lower. <laughs> Just steal all your stuff. Don't mind me. Yoink. No, not the fine. Not the bread. Come on. Thank you. Alright, I'll take some of those potions. He's gonna be like, you just stole shit from me. I'm not helping you out. There we go. What's up, dude? Nova King. Zero three times says, use the clairvoyance spell to find him. Yes. What now? What? The, are you wearing gear? Who are Adam you? Adam the Duke underscore says, I think I know the circumstances. Dovahkin. What? He's just saying Dovahkiin. Yeah, I hear you. What the fuck is that about? What the? I don't get it. Is he gonna help me out? What is that? A short life. That looks dangerous to drink from. Oh, it's a candlestick. So if I can giant candlestick. Alright, dude, what am I supposed to do? Isn't that him? Dova King. Sylph 532 says, looks like the gray beard is broken. LOL. To do. 
Sylphfire32 says, he's stuck in the summoning the Dragonborn thing. Yeah, it seems like it. Oh, he's Bori. That's not the that's not the guy. If you are hungry, do not look at me, please. There we go. Wind, guide you. Your training proceeds well. I need to learn the shout used to defeat Elduin. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? Does it matter? Yes. For matters of such gravity, we need to know where you stand, or who you stand with. I have nothing to hide. The blades help me find out. The blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Adam Their the Duke underscore says, knows Night no Vart is such a bug today. They have always sought to Damn. turn the dragonborn from the path of wisdom. He's being a... Night Vart's been terrible. From us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the blades to be used for their own purposes? Oh, Adam the, the Duke underscore says, I'm hoping this is the reason no, you no, used to be a porter, didn't you? Forgive me, Dragonborn. I have been intemperate with you. But heed my warning. The Blades may say they serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. No, I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. What's so bad about Dragonrend? It was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Wind, guide you. I cannot teach you the shout, because I do not know it. It is called Drag, we do not regret this loss. Sylphfire32 says, no there is a Only question about if you were a quarter in the past. Order can answer that question, if he so chooses. Who is Parthenox? He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely. And never to oh, outside. cool! Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Hey, they're gonna help me. No, he's gonna moonwalk. Great beards are a secret. It is a wise course when knowledge in the wrong hands can prove catastrophic. Is he gonna help me out here? I assume he is. You gonna help me out, right, buddy? Not gonna like leave me dry? Leave me hanging? You're still here, Karen? <laughs> Are you literally just sitting there listening to all this nonsense? Okay. At least I've got at least a one-third defensive ratio with the cat. <gasps> Here we go. Special times. Special times. I have wanted to get to the top of the Skyrim Mountain for ages. <laughs> never gotten here. This is brand new to me. I've never beaten the game. This is cool. You have to go past the impassable wall. Either that or these guys are just gonna like bring me up here and later I'll be pointing to a doll in a courtroom. Job up around the barbecue, let's do it. This is just like our barbecue, very similar, bunch of dudes. The path to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way. Very quiet, I hope you can hear that. Show me. Look. Ah. Cool. This 
Brazil 532 says, he said he knows the way. <laughs> he knows the way. The words wait. Oh, we've learned him. We're ready. And now all I gotta do, I'm sure I have to, yeah, put some dragon souls towards it. Okay. Skyrim itself yields before Theum as you clear away fog and inclement weather. Do I have to do more? It looks like there's extras, but maybe. Silv 532 says, get all of them. One isn't enough, winking smiley. Oh. Spring clear skies and. I will grant you my understanding of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Clear skies will blow away the mist, but only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. This is so cool. Oh, I can't wait. This is freaking cool. All right, let's save this up. Let's open the rest. I didn't even have to spend anything on it. Sky, spring, summer. Skyrim itself yields before the. Okay. There goes nothing. Adam the Duke underscore says, I tried Phasmo VR last night, but that. I oh, love God. the 2D game, but no. Sylphfire32 says, Did you summon your horse? I summoned my horse. By accident. Let me see, I think I'm, I think I'm taking damage. Seems okay so far. Go. All right. So cool. This is so, so cool. I'm so glad to be able to do this, like. Nice. says, went for beer. What's the quest now? We're getting to the top of the mountain. I've never done this before. Who's that? Jack Attacker says, did you join the sport club? I joined the sport club. Top of the hill. I got the premier club jacket and everything. It's great. Look up at the stars, my friend. Aren't they beautiful? This really is a gorgeous kind of outline here. It's really nice. 
Silvfire32 says, we made the jacket out of the bandit skins. <sighs> Most decent. Bear with me. I'm going to uh, plug in here because this is so sweet. To actually get to the top, like this is such a big deal because uh, I, I mean I've been playing this game since like, what, 2016? No, when did it come out? 2019? It was PlayStation. Jack Attacker says, sounds comify. Maybe 2017. I don't know. It's been, I feel like it's been like five years. I could be wrong. But I, I, I really feel like it's been a while. Well, we did some golfing earlier with the uh, extra kind of golf club accessories that we got from Dead Eye VR. So, a shout out to them. Thank you for that I'm sending me those. Oh. Right nope. Right oh. oh. I feel like I blew it away with the uh, the shout by accident. <laughs> Kablamo! It's nice when you're getting up to the top here. You've got these like effects of the wind and of course stars at the top. I gotta keep going. Just in case. He's like, oh it's treacherous. It's not really. It's not so bad. Wait, I'm about to I'm, I'm like about to die, aren't I? No, he's not hurting me. I thought I would be more injured. Uh conjure familiar. What do we got? Bit of a wolf. Okay. That works. Come on, Wolfie Puff. Keep me protected. This is my buddy, Ghost Wolf. I miss shows like Space Ghost. Those were fun. Space Ghost and Birdman! <laughs> Do those kinds of things shows exist anymore? Man, they were awesome. They were so good. So like, super fantasy. The whole way. This looks like almost gold? What the hell? What's going on here? They really look like gold blocks. Look at that. This is so cool. Like, I've spent so long on the map. There's, there's very few places I haven't seen. Oh, did he die already? Fucking dog. Alright. Alright. Slightly high winds. I love how quickly it, like, clears it. Zero three times says, There is a pickaxe up there opposite the word wall that gives you five smithing. Cool. Thank you. I will, uh, I'll be sure to grab it. Throw the world. Throw this the altitude world. is dizzying. This altitude is dizzying. Shit, that's gotta be Alduin. Oh, shit! I just hit Drem Yolok. Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. But who are you? What brings you to my strong? Jack Attacker says my How does it feel to have the pro strap back? The pro strap? So much better. Like I I would have bought one in a heartbeat, but I didn't I had two coming. So I'm like, what? I'm not going to buy another one, but yeah, uh, it's so much better. Way more comfortable. Silfire32 says, LOL was wondering how you'd react to him being a dragon wrath. I totally stuck him with a knife. I am as my father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dovahkiin. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? Hmm. Drem. Patience. 
There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. Okay, I need two doves. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dova King. The word calls you. Go to it. <laughs> He's like gonna torch me the second I go up there. Beck, you, dude. I'm bringing a shield. Yeah, I don't trust you, you old Becky. I have spoken. The Rotmulag waits. Yeah, I bet it does. You're not getting your chicken dinner, all right? No, chicken. Bad dog. Sit. Why do you intrude here if not for Tinvok? It's for Tinvok. Okay, just sit down. I'm gonna Tinvok away over here. I get some privacy, please, while I Tinvok. A gift, Dovahkiin. Jakantakusei. Understand yes. fire as the Dove do. All right, all right, I got this. No problem. Uh, fire breath. Well, that's cool. I love how the, the effects that they do with all of this stuff is amazing. It just feels so powerful. Show me what you can do. Greet me not as mortal, but as Dova. Dova! Ah, yes. Sosedo Vlostmul. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. Like, now toast my balls. <laughs> toast them. I'm kinky old dragon. What are you doing? Give me the next one. What's going on here? So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova's source, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Uh, teach me the shout, please. Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. How did you know I came for Dragonrend, given that I told you five minutes ago? Uh. Alduin Comate Teed, what else would you seek? Alduin and Dovahkiin return together. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds cannot even comprehend its concepts. Huh. Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this thum? That's none of your business. Chica 68 says. Skirim VR release date is November 17, 2017. 2017. I've been playing this goddamn game for that long. That's crazy. That's five years. I've been playing Skyrim for five years. About. Uh, four and a half. Holy cow. Uh, I like this world. I don't want it to end. Prusa. 
as good a reason as any. <laughs> there are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa? Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? Thank you. I didn't come here to debate philosophy with you, old man. That was funny. <laughs> you have much to learn of the Dove, then. There is nothing else but philosophy to Adova. It is no accident that we do battle with our Thum, our voices. There is no distinction between debate and combat to a dragon. Tinvak Loskra. For us, it is one and the same. Huh. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monavin, what you name Throat of the World? Dragons like mountains, right? Like, who wrote this stuff? It's so funny. It's like he's like an eight-year-old. This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim. Zokravakstruma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. Mm, yes and no. Viknuznikaron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. This is fucking deep. The ancient Nord sent Alduin forward in time? Hmm. Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Meye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Honestly, this Which is, really is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Okay, let's find out what an Elder Scroll is. Hmm, how to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, but it has always existed. Rahwatlan, they are mm, fragments of creation. This is a really cool... The Kele, Elder Scrolls as you name them. They have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. Zofa Suryek. Tid Krent, 
time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Teed Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Wow. Time travel is not what I was expecting. Holy cow. Krosis, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. Sylphfire32 says, not you what way. you were expecting, but cool, yes. Oh yeah, no, really awesome. I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovahkiin. Others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. I meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovahkiin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Faim, and Yol. It is called force in your tongue. But as you push the world, so does the world push back. Think of the way force may be applied effortlessly. Imagine but a whisper pushing aside all in its path. That is Fus. Let its meaning fill you. Sum Ark Mora. You will push the world harder than it pushes back. Force without effort, huh? Which calls to you, Dovahkiin? Fus, Faim, or Yol? Fade in your tongue. Mortals have greater affinity for this word than the Dove. Everything mortal fades away in time, but the spirit remains. Ponder the meaning of spirit, Unslad Zee. Where mortal flesh may wither and die, the spirit endures. That is fine. Let that meaning fill you, Sum Ark Mora. You will find that your spirit will give you more strength. Spirit. This is neat. Which calls to you, Dovahkiin? In your tongue, the word simply means fire. It is change given form, power at its most primal. That is the true meaning of Yol. Solyek, power, you have it. As do Silk all Fire 32 Dov, says, but only power one of those is can inert be without action and choice. Think of this 
As the fire builds in your sum, in your breath, sum ark mora, what will you burn? What will you spare? I cannot tell you in detail. I never heard it used. Kogan. It was the first Thum created solely by mortals. It was said to force a dragon to experience the concept of mortality. A truly von Mindoran. Incomprehensible Sir, idea to the says, immortal Guess dome. who just got a legendary motherfuckers? Oh, no. Sir. <laughs> well done. Dark. I do not know. Perhaps in the very doing, they erased the knowing of it from time itself. The Dove are children of Akatosh. Thus, we are specially attuned to the flow of time. Perhaps also uniquely vulnerable. I warned them against such a rash action. Even I could not foresee its consequences. Nust Lihon. They would not listen. Hmm. Yes. There were a few of us that rebelled against Alduin's Thur, his tyranny. We aided the humans in his overthrow. But they did not trust us, me of. Their inner counsels were kept hidden from us. Says, I love the lore and main I story was far in from here on the day right. of Alduin's downfall. But all Dove felt the sundering of it's time It's my first time experiencing itself. this. Return it here to the Teed Ahran. Then, Kele Vomindok. Nothing is certain with such things. But I believe the scrolls bond with the Teed Ahran will allow you a... A seeing, a vision of the moment of its creation. Then you will feel no dragon rend in the power of its first expression. You will see them, Wuth Fadon, my friends, Haken, Gormleth, Feldir. The first mortals that I taught the Thum, the first tongues, the leaders of the rebellion against Alduin. They were mighty in their day, even to attempt to defeat Alduin. Sahrot Hun. The Nords have had says, many heroes I always since, liked the idea that Dragon Rend was greater. made by humans. That's really cool. It also tells you why. You know, um, like this this whole concert of discussion between the two groups actually kicked off. Like, I never understood any of that. Drem your look. Greetings. Look through. This is pretty sweet, man. Pretty sweet. That's the Inferno one, I take it. No! That's with me. Alright, buddy. Guys, you wanna get out of here? I'm hoping it would uh, be nice up here. Save that. He is awesome. You remind me of Topal the pilot. That's a goat. Drifting to new worlds while in search of a new world. Hey, goat. I commit their souls to it. Goodbye, goat. He served his time. Okay. 
looking around. I'm just looking around the whole rock. Be nice and careful. Oops. He's got a little toasty. Serpo 1010 says, that's what we call a yurt. Sylphfire32 says, the path to Perthernax is so incredibly hazardous, yet goats and trolls can thrive there. <laughs> the goats, yeah, I know. I mean, I can get the other ones, but like, uh-oh. What's happening here? Is this guy dead? Hello? Back. This guy's never came up. What are you doing? Dude. No, seriously. Dude. Hey. What was that about? I like how he's got, like, backlighting. Like a Game Boy. Alright, let's see. Let's do a proper save there. And then we're gonna see what the quest says. Talk to Esburn or Eric. Look at how many quests I have. Look. Sylphfire32 says, he came up just to call you out. Dovaki in Thunder Rumbles. <laughs> yeah. That sure seems like what happened. This is so cool, man. I've actually gotten up to the top. It's amazing. I should do a little jig. Hey, dude, come back here. Dovahkiin. <laughs> oh my god. Stop with the Dovahkiin stuff, man. It's so cool how you can see off the mountains and stuff. I like it how the, the rocks are like gold, basically. Flaked with... Uh, it's very... Very cool. Right, I'm going this way. I don't know which way I'm supposed to be going, but I'm going this way. A long way down. Ay, ay, ay. Maybe by the time Elder Scrolls 6 comes out, I'll have beaten the game. <laughs> like, it, the sheer amount of, like, uh, prep work that I do for these shows, like, and then. Like, I get a couple of hours in, and then it's like, okay, a couple of days goes by, a couple of weeks go by, you know. So. I don't know. I like the fire. That's fun. I keep accidentally casting it, though. That can't be good. Also, I feel like the game is. says, nah. You'll still be stuck looking for the Elder Scroll by the time 6 comes out. Oh no. Take that long. Like, for anyone who's beaten the game, if you had to give a percentage of how far I am right now, tell me. How far am I through the main story? 20%? 40%? 80%? I'm just curious. Because I, I feel like I'm pretty far. But maybe, maybe not. Of course, then it's me, right? Sylphfire32 says, No, I mean you personally will be. <laughs> I, 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 I like he dodged the question. You're like, I'm not telling you. You just work that out yourself. Happened there. I just healed the goat and you shot him in the ass. I love you guys. You guys are exactly the people I want you to be. What is this? I'm 
no idea what that was. It's like flash photography. I like this one though. The green one is really fun. Alright, where are these dudes? Oh, what's over here? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh! What is this? Some kind of secret? Something special? Excuse me, my friend. Silv532 says, Amino L says 60%. Literally, he just said Dovahkiin. 60%. Okay. I'm good with that. That's a lot. <laughs> it took me five years <laughs> to get 60% done. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, to be honest, we restarted. What, once? Twice? Twice. Because we had the lady, uh, Janessa, on our first run. She was amazing. Later came back, found Janessa again. But two times we're on PlayStation. And then, uh, I suppose the last time. I want to look over the edge. It's too All right, I also want to try something. Okay, this is dumb, but I'm gonna try it. Chica68 says, there's no end to skewing mostly with quest mods and that was mods dumb. content. That was dumb. <laughs> See, that's exactly the thought that would go through your mind if you jumped off of like a building or something. You'd like, you have the first thing. Nasal1705 says, I've restarted this game a million times, but never beat it. Really? Never beaten it? Yeah, see, that's the thing, like, it's such an awesome... And actually, this is the thing that I learned about game design when we were making Intermission, is how many people experience 10% of your game, 5% of your game, you know? They just touch it, and they get a taste of it, and they're like, oh, that's it. And so you really want to spend, like, a fair amount of time on making that experience be well honed, be polished, you know, and, uh, and, and for that curve, that handshake, that needs to feel great. And that's the part where you need to spend like a lot of time. And then the end, the end, the end state content still needs to be there, but like, that's for your 5%, I and mean, that's for your, that's not for everybody. Nova King. Would you guys stop saying Dova King? Like, Like also impressed with me or something. I don't. I don't know what's happening. Something weird's going on. Hope you're all still good. Look, they're all just like. How would you like to live in a place where you're just like kneeling on carpets, looking at the sun, saying Dovahkiin every day? Hey. So you spoke to Parthenax. The dragon blood burns bright within you. Did he tell you what you wanted to know? Did he teach you the dragon wren to shout? So be it. If he believes it is necessary for you to learn this, we will bow to his wisdom. I need the Elder Scroll the ancients used. Do you know where to find it? We have never concerned ourselves with the scrolls. The gods themselves would rightly fear to tamper with such things. As for where to find it, such blasphemies have always been the stock and trade of the mages of Winterhold. They may be able to tell you something about the Elder Scroll you seek. Sweet. Oh, he... Sky above, voice within. Sky above and voice within. He's a nice guy. I like him. He's always been like respectful. He greets you on entry. He doesn't call me Dovahkiin and then run away. Yeah. I like this guy. Where are the others? Is the big question. Where is everybody else? I found one of them. So now we need to find the other guy. Which is... Serpo1010 says, 
My shiny Duke new chem shades. Ah, Duke Nukem. Legendary. Yeah, nice. Nova King. Ah, fuck it, not you. I'm curious where the other guy's hiding. It's gotta be just this way, I suppose. No. Being attacked by a dragonfly. Bzz, 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 bzz. Taste the orange dart wing. Nom, 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 nom. Where are you? Oh, brother. Brother, brother. Where the fuck are you? We can sleep in his bed. That'll teach him. Aha. Ha, ha, ha. Yep. That's right. That'll teach you to... Oh, that's poison or something, isn't it? Definitely don't want to be downing the poison. Oh, those are books I haven't read yet. Dweber Inquiries Volumes 2. Chica 68 says, the stone hard cold bed. Ah, uh, yes. Ramanada. And in those days, the empire was Cyrodiil's own was dead, save in memory only. For the war and slug famine and inquitous rulers, blah, blah, blah. Oh! Oops, didn't mean to burn Nelson everything. 1705 says, Nice t-shirt reminds me of Tron. Ah, that's the idea. It's supposed to be like a Tron type thing. Thank you. It's the whole, uh, it's the whole, sh it's the whole kit and caboodle. Got the pants too. Monomyth. Right. Serpo1010 says that jumped us up to 136. Jeez, you're 136? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to work hard. We're talking about Intermission, which is a Discord game. You can join and play if you want at discord.zimtalk5.com. Find our games channel. Silkfire32 uh, oh, says, Intermission. But wasn't the orange color the bad guys in the recent trim? I am a bad guy. What about him? I don't know what's there. What are you saying to me? Order to midnight. That means I've only got another four hours of gameplay. Four more hours of gameplay. <laughs> How are all the young boys not going to look up to me, huh? If I don't, if I don't give you the old two fingers and and uh, you know play all night, and then and then and then just. Throw off the skirt of respon the skirt the skirt of responsibility. No, I'm teaching him how to have one night stands and drive a motorcycle, wear a leather jacket, and get a tattoo that says "Mom." Yeah, oh wait, that's probably less cool. <laughs> Mom's the only one who ever loved them. Yeah. That's harsh. That's harsh, lady. Harsh. Silfire32 <laughs> says, Responsibility wears a skirt. Responsibility wears a skirt. Wow, we we are really drawing a very thin... We're crossing a line here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's see. Talk to Esber and Orr. Da, 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 da. Learn the location of the Elder Scroll. Right. Go to Winterhold. Screw Esburn or whatever. I don't, I don't, hey. I gotta go down the hill. Serpo 1010 says, and steal things. And steal things. And steal things, yeah. Push people. 
I think I missed the axe or whatever. Oh my god, it's so freaking cold. I've got goosebumps appearing all over my body just because of how it looks. Screw you, brain of mine. It's not cold down here. This is just simulated. Stop fucking going all nuts out. What is this? Shrine? I shrine it up. Emblemax. For years all silent, the Greybeard spoke one name. Tibur Septim. Crippling then was summoned to Hrothgar. They blessed and named him Dovaki. Dovaki. And am I gonna get a cool statue of me when I'm done with the game? I hope so. Look at how pretty this is. Fucking Skyrim is stupidly fucking good looking. What a cool game. The fact that you can just like look out over the entire map, and then you can just like ride out over there. Silfire thirty two says. Those are meditations you're supposed to read on your way up to the top. You're supposed to. But am I gonna get meditations when I'm done with this? <laughs> it's all like It's about parody. Whatever he gets, I get. He got cool, you know. Forty virgins on the way to heaven. I oh, want the same thing. Thank you very much. Alright. Where's my horse? Answering questions. Serpo one thousand and ten says the Septims up. played a major role in Oblivion. Septims. Oh. So now we're heading to Winterhold. And we will have to go talk to people at Winterhold and tell them all the best stories. Actually this is probably a pretty good place for us to kind of like wrap it up because I can talk a little bit before we go. And then we'll get a snack. And then um Punch some bears, play golf with some holy mammoths, like we did tonight. It was good fun. Did I show you my equipment, Kara? You're still there? Alright, I have to come see the equipment then. Let me quit this. Oh, wait, 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 let me save it. I'm not going to remember, so chat, you have to remember for me. Okay, you're going to have to remember for me. Alright. And that was the end of another stellar episode of Skyrim Saga in the Skyrim Sport Club. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, look, look. It's everything. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> these, these are the whole deal. These have like this padded thing here. Look at this. This is ridiculous. It's actually a cycling outfit. Silph 32 um, says, and, uh, so, Skyrim so streaming, Saga. I've got a nice little comfy padded seat. You're the whole match, huh? Uh, one second. Let me, otherwise they can't hear you. Okay. Uh, one second. I can solve that problem as well. We're going to bring Karen into this. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Serpo 1010 uh -huh. says, Remember, uh -huh. chat follows him. Uh -huh. Talk 5 on YouTube to follow the saga of Skyzim. Uh -huh. Don't mind me if I just rip your eyeballs out. Oh, my eyes! That's fine. They're used to it by this point. And I will give you your eyeballs back. New eyeballs. Maybe not the same. Slightly worse eyeballs. Silphfire32 right. says, I heard Surgery her. Surgery did not, not go. Not well, but I heard her. <laughs> okay. What were you saying? Oh, uh, this is what I want to show you. Okay. I'm now going to be able Serpo to beat my father. 1010 says, Hi, Karen. What is that? Ask him how he intermission is going. How intermission is going. Are you getting beaten? Yeah, apparently he found legendaries while we were streaming, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, what is that? This. G grab me a, grab me a controller. It's got an interesting texture on it. Yeah, grab, where, grab me a controller. From where? There. I oh. pointed. Well, they, they were blending in with your headphones. I couldn't see blending them. Blending in with my headphones. Yeah. It's kind of like a, it's like, it's almost like snake skin or something with the texture of that. Okay. Yeah, it is, basically. So, this goes like this. Mm-hmm. Uh, like <laughs> Make it like a wand? Yeah. <laughs> This 
is a golf club. Oh, so many things. It could be like a wand, or it could be like make your arm really long. <laughs> well, we did that. We did that tonight in Skyrim. It works incredibly well for a sword. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We could like I could poke people and I could swing it at them. Uh, so there's that one. And then there's this Self one. So five thirty two says well, different, this is like a different handle. My golf Did you stick. just get these? I think I saw the package. Yeah, they just, they just sent me the two. And there you go. For those who are. This is another one that does like the same thing. Is same thing. Yeah. So we got two. That one seems more like a typical. So one thousand and ten yeah. says we yeah. use this one this is more of a tennis strokes. racket grip. Mm. Like it's not quite a tennis racket because ten tennis racket doesn't have this flat part, but it's more like um I think that's like a driver. So, so which one do they claim is better? Because I assume there's question. like a high and low end kind of version. That's here. a good question. We need to check <laughs> this out. All right, so we go to deadivr.com or whatever. Mm -hmm. My desk is covered in stuff. Eagle right one, which one sounds more elite, Eagle 1.0 or Geo Elite? Also, you have to. Put I think your Eagle. Bed on this. I'm gonna guess the Eagle. But um, <laughs> go on, snap it into that. Snap what? The neck. What? Silf five thirty two says actually. Tennis rackets this? do have a flat part on the grip. That? Unless they've changed. It's magnetized? Yeah, it's a it's a wall is... clip. Oh, so you can just so you can hang it there. Yeah, go on, give me that one. Okay. So that That's can nice. just go on your wall and you can be like, right, Dad, it's business time. <laughs> time uh, to destroy more things in my house. <laughs> yeah, and then and then when you're done you just you just Okay. Could you imagine if you'd had that that breaking light bulb experience with one of these? Man, <laughs> that light bulb would have been all over the neighbor's place, including ours. Okay, we said we would check the website real quick. Mm -hmm. um, right, so the website would be dead IVR. Silf five thirty two says, when you're Probably done, you, you, you just, just hang, hang it up on, on the, the only piece only of wall piece left. Of wall left. <laughs> No, just don't hit it. I'll show you this in a second. Give us a second. Let me get it up. Okay. Go. All right, we're going to look at their products. I wanted to show you a few things. Um, let's see here. Let's see which one. This one. Okay. And. Oh, they do a gun like thing like you had. Are they the same yeah, people? Yeah, stock. Or... No, they're not the same people. Okay. So let's go into 150. So this is Dead Eye VR. Um, now you've lost our face, but that's not so important. Uh, got it. All right. So there's that. Let's see. Where's the other product that you were talking about earlier? There's Flight Sticks, similar to um, ProTube. I've, I've done ProTube before. This is battery connectors. So you Hold can. Hold on. Let me check the dog. Screw the battery at the back. There's the boxing gloves. I don't understand because, I mean, you'd feel like it, but it might be a hassle. Um, your melee combat experience with switchblades interlocking. What the feck is that? What is the switchblade? With switchblades interlocking. What is that? Magnetic controller attachments to the index and rift S. I'm really nervous the dog just stole the cat's dinners. She just walked out of where the food was. And I'd heard the, the licking of the bowl, and Walter's, she did it. Walter's growling at her now. She did it. Kesha, what did you do? Hey. I don't know if I should feed them more or. Yeah, well. Mm -hmm. Walter's like, look, he's, look at her. He's, he's like, really pissed at you her. You bastard, you just took my food. Yeah. That's funny. All right, hang on. Let's look at this. So this has. This is this. So. The stick one is Drive VR driver VR golf club handle accessory for $70. Mm -hmm. This is US. And then these are like, like lightsabers. He's literally like, he's still growling at her. He's, he, and he's followed, followed her over here. I'm sorry, I know this is tangent, but it's just funny because he doesn't usually do that. Well, here we can look, we can even. The guilty dog who's just happy because she has more food. What did you do? 
What did you do? Show the cat now. <laughs> yeah, he's like staring her down. He's totally mad dogging. Walter, are you okay? <laughs> like, mm -hmm. she's just here wagging her tail. <laughs> Dog cat. He's like, no, what are you doing? <laughs> na, 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 na. That's cat cam. <laughs> I feel like too high up from this angle. This is weird. Yeah. All right. Here back here. So, oh, no. so he's seventy dollars for for the first one. Seventy bucks for the first one. The one, well, the in my opinion, the second, the second one I opened, which is the. The one that's like close okay let's just see what it says um because they sent this to me there was another accessory i was really keen on that they didn't send me yet uh premium molded golf handle quick release controller cup and iron core um and they even give you instructions for the various bits. Works very well. Feels like a real club. Impeccable customer service. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Loads of people are like doing these reviews. Wow, this is a really good way to convince someone to buy. What? Well, all these reviews. Yeah. I never trust reviews on the home site, though. Yeah, it's yeah. hard to because they can just cut out all the bad ones. Yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, that review got Circle lost. Circle 1010 yeah. says, <laughs> whoopsies. Like, look, look, very look, little look at how many five stars yeah, are there. Yeah, I know. They were all five stars except for maybe one or two, four. Yeah. This is the one that I was really wanting. I think it was three to be Because they do archery. I don't know how it would work, right? Mm -hmm. um, Silk 532 says, because there was it's one like, two okay, star would, review. Would this actually function? Silverfire said there was one two star review. Well, maybe. Yeah, yeah. The thing I mean, is, as I said, it's just it's hard to tell. I mean, they could be totally honest, and you wouldn't really know. Let's see. Look. <laughs> or they could just be, you know, trying to make it look balanced. Just a little cookie to the customer. Consumer would be nice on the assembly and use. Yeah. But anyway, so that was the one that I was really interested in. Um, my one of these broke. So I'd love to get something like that. But um, again, to have Maybe companies... The other one. I'm the other trying one? to find it. I don't know. Products. Maybe it's like not come out yet or something. I don't think so. Golf clubs. Mm. That's possible. Highlighted products. <laughs> There's no tennis handle or something, is it? Yeah, exactly. What would what would that be i don't even remember what i what i asked for um or what, what i was interested in silf 532 says too. i don't think the switchblade one know. is what in the beat store saber handle handles though i'm curious the beat saber handles yeah. oh that's easy it's like it's a aluminium ah uh, yeah, yeah yeah okay fair enough yeah like basically give me a lightsaber <laughs> you know uh boxing those flight sticks i wonder if that messes with I'm trying to think the god <laughs> for anyone who's still on a vibe like oh god that controller was so that was so ming and i i couldn't i couldn't stand that controller man oh <laughs> fucking soup ladle with a touchpad that was so wonky that would just like died so quick terrible okay so we didn't find the eagle uh 1.0 but we found the other one uh, and this I will well, maybe, be using. As I said, maybe it's new or something. This I will definitely be using with uh, Golf Plus to try to best my father and take him out. And if I if I can't get a better score, at least I can whack him in the knees. All right, that's me for tonight. Uh, that's Karen. She's got light in her face. Thank you. I have to stare with lights in my face the whole time. You get used to it after a while. You just <laughs> you just accept blindness. This is how, when I was driving home in the storm, it was able, this is fun because you can like go like, oh, like that's my ear. Um, you know, but that's, it's very expensive to like do that one party trick. <laughs> it's so worth it though. <laughs> so worth it? Yeah, I don't think. Oh, this is comfy. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to wave goodbye and uh, probably just broke. Serpo an 1010 NDA says, probably just oh, broke. Oh, what for NDA this? LMA. They asked me to unbox live. They're like, but don't show it yet because this is just coming out. <laughs>
I'm going to say nothing because then I'm just going to get myself in trouble. This is Twitch. No one saw this, you know. So uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. We're, we're definitely getting out of here. And thank you for watching Skyrim. If you want to see more Skyrim, uh, go probably to YouTube. And if you can't catch me there, I'm trying to do the restream, but it's broken now twice on me. And that's enough to kind of break my heart a little bit. So Is Twitch um, more stable somehow? I don't know why. It's just restream. Like I get, I'll probably be doing YouTube next because then I have chat and stuff like chat. At the moment is broken like if i go to this screen right mm -hmm. that's that's youtube chat for tonight's event that broke uh which <laughs> I, may, maybe i'll upload this uh video there and just be like hey you missed the stream come look at it and see how zim broke an nda i don't know <laughs> i hope it is in the case if it is um, whoopsies uh but you know that's what you get for not separating your products or something <laughs> That's real nervousness now. <laughs> Settling in. All right, everyone, have a good night. Um, thank you, Karen. Double high five. Uh, that was low five. Now my... Oh, that, did you look at that? Do that again. Do that again. What? Look at how uncomfortable that is on my elbows. Oh, it's like... You chose that position. Maybe you're on the That's very says, likely. All right, good night, everybody. Have a Take good care. Night and, and well, uh, I'll see you in don't forget, buy a bagel. All right, bye. But why a bagel? Why a bagel, Karen? What type of bagel? Cinnamon raisin. <laughs> Always cinnamon raisin.